Father's Day. I think that's a worldwide thing, right? To any fathers, any dads in chat. <laughs> Even if you're a father of a furry creature like a cat, a dog, a hamster, a rat, a ferret, a tarantula, any, any, any sort of pet, or I guess actual children, it's fine. You can still celebrate <laughs> Father's Day. <laughs> Your transition always spooks me. That's the intent. That's totally the intent. <laughs> it's 7 a.m. Oh my god, that's so early. Time zones are wild. <laughs> a pet rock? Yes, pet rocks also qualify. Any any sort of pet. Father to grab woods. <laughs> I mean a gremlin father works. So any any sort of a father figure also works. And what better way? To celebrate Father's Day than to play a game where you have to be good with, um, money. <laughs> like recipe. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you again. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> but yes, today is the day where we play recipe. For the people that have never heard about recipe before, this game is kind of like a story management game and also a dungeon crawling? I think that's what they're called. Where you kind of have to, you know, manage a store, sell things, buy things, you know, all that fun stuff. Is that Father's Day for me? I don't know if Father's Day is a worldwide thing or if it's just like in certain countries. But I think it's a worldwide thing. Not entirely sure. <laughs> But we're going to assume it's a worldwide thing. Because I'm too lazy to Google it. <laughs> oh, it's the first time chatting. Oh, hello, hello. I searched up this game and it looks fun. Yeah. You can confirm. It is worldwide. Mm, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> but yeah. So, Resetier, I would say it's a pretty unique type of game. I don't think there's like many other games like it. So it should be fun. It should be fun. Father's Day is in a different day per country. Wait, it varies? I thought it was like the third... The third Sunday of June? Question mark? I can't remember. I can't remember. I cannot recall. <laughs> What's your say what it's about? You wouldn't believe how it is, how old it is, in fact. You would think it's lame. I, you would think. Like, you read the synopsis and you're like, hmm... Yeah, because there's a lot of uh, finance and stuff into it. It's a fun business management game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you may think business management may not sound fun in concept, but once you try it out, it, it's, a different, it's a different story. So we are going to get right into it, because if I leave this game in standby for a long time, it goes into this song. And I'm not sure if that song is copyrighted, so <laughs> I don't I don't wanna run the risk. I don't wanna run the risk that the song is copyright is copyrighted. I mean this game is from the early 2000s, so you can kinda kinda guess. So let's move on. Oh, and beware, the stinger the stinger is coming. Just uh an early warning. There you go. <laughs> I hope it doesn't look too stretched. Um, I tried to mess around with the aspect ratio, but uh, this is an old game. There's only so much you can do. <laughs> there is no good full screen, so unfortunately I had to mess around with it. We're just gonna have to work with it. The aspect ratio, it really do be like that. <laughs> it's old. It looks good for a 2000s game. Mm hmm Thanks for the warning. I managed to lower my headphones volume and die. <laughs> yep. Rest the tier, base department calling. It's for you. I shall take the call. <laughs> Can't wait to see wide rest the tier. The stretch. It truly do be like that. Is the anime girl with a vacant expression. Oh, no. Oh, I stopped the, the, the song. Okay. You mean, is it Reset? Is that her name? Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, is this the, 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 the that one girl? I've seen memes about this girl. Uh, is she the... What's she called again? The, the, the loan shark lady? 
I can't remember if it's her. Oh, it's Tear. Oh, for the love of... She's still asleep. Yes, let me sleep. We need to go wider. No, not wider. <laughs> wider beyond. The Lone Shark, yes. Oh, no. Reset means recipe? Really? Don't wake me up. Does she really not understand how important today is? No. It's a Sunday. Sundays are meant for resting. Lone Shark, my beloved. <laughs> Chantalize? I don't... I've never heard of Chantalize before. We'll definitely have to look into it. The name of the game is the combined form of both characters' names. Oh, that's actually very big brain. I just realized that. <laughs> Isn't it the name of the store, actually? Mmm, can't eat another bite. I just noticed he's not even on the screen. <laughs> Wait, does the game have no sound? Uh-oh. That's so good. Why is the game not having any noise? Let me figure out. It's also a pun for racketeer. Is it racketeer? Oh, great. Game decided to not have sound today. Let me see. Okay, does it have sound now? I think I fixed it. I thought it was supposed to have sound. It, you thought it was supposed to have no sound. <laughs> No, it is supposed to have sound. Yes, yes. Oh, fixed. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, just making sure it's not, like, super loud. Sound is on now. Hey, let's go. Sound has returned. Oh, she's mad. Is she gonna, like, pull me out of bed? You wouldn't do that, too. How old is Rasad again? I'm pretty sure she's a kid. No, I don't want to get up. You can't make me. Wait, if she's a loan shark, how did she get inside my house? You know, asking all the real questions. <laughs> Does she have the key to my house? Oh, no. What? What? Oh, what is it? Ohayo. Oh, Pierre, good, good morning. Uh, how does she have the key to my house? Pierre, let poor Reset sleep. Let her sleep. Let her sleep late. We do not have time for a good morning, Reset. Uh, she may or may not also be the landlord. Oh, she's the landlord? Uh oh. <laughs> it's not your house anymore. No! Is she about to break her kneecaps for being late on her loan repayments? Uh, she might. I don't know how aggressive she actually is. <laughs> Are you planning on spending the rest of your life dreaming of sweets? She's a child. Cut her. Cut her some slack. She owns your entire life. Oof. Today is the day we said for opening the store. Uh, a store? Oh, uh, we did? Oh, yeah, we did. She, she forgot. She can't remember. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh, she's mad. Oh, wait, isn't that a curse in French? <laughs> Oi, don't curse at me in French. I may not know a lot of French, but I know enough to actually know what that means. <laughs> I know very little French. I, I think I took like three years of French, actually. I didn't learn much. <laughs> but I do know what that means. It's definitely a bad word in French. Yeah. I remember that much. My three-year knowledge of French is coming in handy. That's a French curse word. Barely? Is it barely? <laughs> I don't know. Go wash your face and make yourself presentable. She looks fine. Yeah, I studied more French than I did and I live here. <laughs> to be fair, when I was taking like French classes, um, the only thing they did was force us to watch French movies. And they cursed a lot, so you kind of learn a few words. <laughs> so that was like one of the things that I remember. <laughs> so you can tell why I can't speak French. <laughs> Oh, no. Depends what senses you use it with. Wait, is it one of those words that kind of changes with the context? Omelette du fromage. Oh, yeah. Um, that's like omelette and cheese, I believe. French swearing is the first step. <laughs> I feel like that's uh, a lot of words that people learn with different languages. It's like the swear words. I don't think I learned that specific type of swearing. <laughs> Wait, does it vary from, like, different regions? Like, 
Because Canada, like the French part of Canada, have their own version of swear words. And then there's like, you know... In France, they have their own types of swear words. Oh my god. A lot of variety, huh? Patience, Reset. It is a virtue you will need. Um... Yeah, we're already failing this. <laughs> I don't have patience. Yes, French is a very form shifting language when it comes to regions. Mmm, so it is that type of language. Yes, they do. Like how Britain has swear words that America doesn't and vice versa. It makes sense. It makes sense. We need to take care of a few matters before we open officially. Oh, it's the paperwork. <laughs> Hi, Nabi. Different dialects have different swear usage. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. It's pretty much the same in Spanish, so... That actually makes more sense. Well, I somehow doubt that a store without anything to sell is going to attract all that much business. We can just tell them we have invisible goods. It's totally not a scam, I promise. <laughs> they're invisible, you know? Uh, they're, they're totally there. I promise. They're not... They're not... Uh, they're totally... Not... You know... Not real. Oh yeah, we don't have anything to sell. You, you just noticed? I mean, she pointed it out. So, uh, what do we do? To start with, we need to establish a stock of items for the store. Oh, we're going to the dungeon to get all the, all the stuff. I think this is where the dungeon crawling comes in. We have nothing to sell. We cannot claim to be much of a shop. I mean, there's ways. One invisible Chiaki. <laughs> okay. Mm, actually, I think we ran out of those. I think the, the last customer just bought the last one we had, unfortunately. So, where should we go to get stocked up? To the dungeon we go. The best way, I think, will be visit either the town market or the merchant's guild. Or we could just buy from another store. We'll tell people you gave me money. <laughs> oh my god. We just figure something out. Oh, that's a place. Oh, that's the place run by that old guy, right? The dungeon? I mean, there's... What are they calling this game? Caves? Dungeons? I don't know what they're calling this game. You know, usually go dungeon crawling. What is the game about cute cyber kitty cat? It's basically about selling things and getting out of debt. That, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Managing a store to get out of debt. I don't know if they have said it yet. I, I remember... I have a very vague memory that we're currently in debt because our dad uh, just kind of left and left us with debt. I have a very vague memory about that. <laughs> he just kind of went to get milk and never came back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's an equivalent. Um, it's not to get milk. I think he went to do something else. But, you know, that's the closest equivalent. Ironically, the dad in this game left us in death. <laughs> the perfect game for Father's Day, though. <laughs> oh my god. He went adventuring. Oh, so pretty much what I said. <laughs> he went to get milk. He's still not back. When, to want, when you want to leave the shop, head to the front door. Yeah, I, I figured that's how you leave places. Thanks, Tear. Aw, oh, but I wanted to leave through the window! Like an action hero! Do you want to be an even more depth reset? <laughs> Do you want the depth to increase? I don't think you should break the window. It's not a good idea. To eternity end! Reset! Hi! Okay! Please, please don't break the window. We don't need more depth than what we have. I mean, how deep are we in depth? Probably a lot. But... The question is how... Well, we have a thousand picks. Can I buy something from the Merchants Guild? Konnichiwa. Hello, fellow uh, merchant man. Because I'm also a fellow merchant. Please sell things cheap to me. <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> and in debt. Hmm, a girl and a fairy. You two are... Yes, you're Reset and that loan shark. Oh. Awesome. He also knows. <laughs> Well, that is not, well, an incorrect assessment. I mean... Is he wrong? Is the man wrong? Adept in this game is pretty OP. Uh, 
the death really is real. When I ask that you refrain from calling me a loan shark, I mean, the man is not wrong. I is he wrong? I don't think he's wrong. That's right, mister. She and I are partners. Reset. Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. I don't think you will call a loan shark a partner. Because, I mean, the only reason she's here is because she needs the... The money that your, uh, dad owes. <laughs> Reset's a bit slow. She's trying her best. She's trying her best. Haha, <laughs> forgive me, forgive me. Partners it is. Totally. Pa partners. So, how are the preparations for running that shop coming along? We're, um, we're hanging in there. Quite well, thank you. The biggest lie. Lies as naturally as she breathes. In fact, we plan on opening today, so we stopped by in order to show our gratitude for your help. Is that so? That feeling you're only friends the debt collector. <laughs> oh no. That's actually kind of sad. When your friend is the debt collector that is very willing to throw you out into the street if you don't pay. Man. It really do be like that. If you have any problems, let me know. I'll be glad to help. Uh, we appreciate your kindness. Thank you. Um, we appreciate your kindness. Thank you very much. A nice loan shark. I don't know if she really is nice. <laughs> I think she's just, you know, doing business. <laughs> uh, so, you came straight here to pick up some merchandise, right? Please give it cheap. I mean, I don't have a lot of money, so... <laughs> we have to work with what we have. Well, up to the counter then. Let's get you two sorted. Thank you. This is our first time stocking up. Our funds are limited, so do not go completely overboard. Okay, I'll try. I recommend purchasing no more than 10 items. Okay. When death is in the way, what is a friend? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure she only plans to stick around until I pay. So... Okay, so no more than 10 items. How much are these? 140. Oh! 140! Oh no, that, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I can't afford that. <laughs> oh no! That's so expensive. You know what? I'm gonna take these. I... Nope, we're not taking that one. Um... Sell? Nah, they don't sell for anything good. I don't know what I will get up from talking to this guy. What is the guild? What can I do here? Wait, I can fuse items in this game? Fusion? Yeah, there goes the money. I need to buy things! <laughs> I'm hoping I can sell them for more than what I bought them for. Can you change tabs to the right and left to pick more items? Wait, did he have more than what he offered? I thought that was all he had. Once a few merchant levels are under your belt, you'll be able to fuse items here at the guild hall. Oh, so you can fuse them to increase, like, their rarity, right? By the time I used to think a rusty sword was expensive... <laughs> oh, the long... The long sword was way too pricey. They're sorted by category. Oh, well... There goes all the money on the... On the rusted swords. Remember, what well, you put in effects we get at a fusion. You put in some materials. Plus two quality. And you will get an item of similar quality. Okay, I keep an eye on what you're fusing. Time to make your item more expensive. Yep, we're gonna sell it for way more than what we bought it. I'm pretty sure that's the point. The materials and some mediocre thing you can just buy somewhere. Another thing, it can be real tempting to keep your best quality items for yourself. I mean, I guess because you're gonna need them for the dungeons. I, I guess if I have extras, I could sell them. Hmm. But your customers know quality goods when they see them, and you'll earn a lot of respect if you sell top-shelf merchandise. But I need the top-shelf merchandise! Can't they... you know, can't we just sell them the, the, the stuff that's not as good? I ignore this until I have the ability to just buy materials. I was curious about the fusion thing. Okay, so experiment and come back here often. Okay, what other things... Oh, he has some daggers. You know what? I'm gonna buy one of these. Uh, how much is this? Oh, 200. No. Mmm... I'll buy a leather glove. There you go. Now we're officially brick. Right then, will that be all? <laughs> yep, this is perfect. Okay.
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna work with this. I'm gonna see if I manage to sell for a lot more. We shall return when our stocks run low again. Aha, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, don't look don't be too excited about that. <laughs> but isn't it a bigger flex if you sell the good stuff and cause you're too good for it? You know what? That's a good point. If we sell the good stuff, we can just be like, oh yeah, we're just too too good for that, you know? But we kinda need the good stuff too. Yeah. Oh, we got food! He probably thinks we're starving. <laughs> I mean, he probably is not wrong. Here, have a piece of bread. Thank you. All right, little lady, give him your all. Yay! I can eat for a month with this, probably. Oh, she said the thing! She said the thing! <laughs> she finally said the thing! I was hoping she said the thing. Well, Adam Smith will be proud of us at any rate. Adam Smith? Isn't that the guy that wrote that, that one book? I forgot what the name of that book was. But he, he wrote like a book on finance. I, for, I forgot what it was. <laughs> she finally said the thing. It's the big flex if you can manage to ignore the dungeon altogether. Ah, oh, really? Don't worry, Miss. I can probably survive with the grass from the park. <laughs> no! No, poor reset. I just say wrote the wealth of nations. Hmm. I was sure he wrote like some sort of finance book. I guess I was like fully wrong. It's time to give you a crash course on the basics of running an item shop. Time to learn about the stock market, reset. I'm pretty sure you're still a child, but it's time to learn about the stock market. Have you played this game before? I've never played it myself. I saw someone play it before. So I know a little bit of what the game is about. But I never Don't played me. it myself. Okay, items on display. We do not have our goods out for people to see. We can hardly expect the customers to buy them at all. So we pretty much just put them on their face. Oh, that's why we put them on the window. Because we want them to see them and be like, Oh, that looks nice. How long till the shop is bankrupt? I don't know. That's a very good question. Is that remember to buy high and sell low? Yup. So I just need to get... So I just need to get near these counters. Yeah, pretty much put them on the window. The good stuff that you want to sell, you put it... You know, near the window. Reset is like Ted. Yeah, I know she's a kid. I know she's a kid. Oh boy. Poor girl. But you wish to place in that spot by pressing the primary button. What is a primary button? Yeah, you, not even she knows. You will understand when you try it, trust me. That, that, that doesn't help. Here, please. Now remember, what you will place will affect how people perceive this store. What's a primary button? So think carefully before you place something. <gasps> Feel the buttons in your soul. <laughs> The fourth wall memento. Oh, so soon. We just started and she's already breaking the fourth wall. Just trust me. Just trust me, bro. I know what I'm doing. Why not line up what we purchase? Okay. I got this. Okay. Let's see. Um... We're gonna put the leather glove. What? What's wrong? Is the leather glove not good enough? Do you not like the leather glove? Those counters by the window. Y yeah, yeah. Items you place there are visible to anyone passing by on the street. Yes, I, I can tell that much. So? <laughs> What's wrong with putting it near the window? One singular glove. <laughs> you don't get the other one. The other one is DLC. <laughs> you only get one. I want to buy this more than anything on those counters is core principle of running a shop like this. She hates the glove. What's wrong with the glove? It's the only non-rusty thing I have. <laughs> so I thought it would be good. In a very real way, those counters are the face of the shop. <laughs> Man, no glove. <laughs> you gotta pay a subscription for the other one. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. It's, it's DLC. I'm sorry, you only get one. <laughs> so choose what to place there very, very carefully. What's wrong with the glove? Wow, I never thought about it like that. I mean, that's what I was thinking. You want me to put my rusty weapons in the front? What's wrong with the glove? Huh, dear? 
You, you have a problem with the glove? Fine, I'll put bread. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people like bread. Um, well, we don't really have uh, many good things, so we're just gonna put those there. We're gonna put the rest of the weapons over here. If you play this game, you either love <laughs> capitalism or you hate it. <laughs> oh my god. Bread in this economy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone will like it, so... Alright, that should... That should do for displaying our wares. They'll either like the glove or they'll like the bread. Surely one of those two things. <laughs> one of those two things will be appealing for them. Selling our only food. <laughs> Listen, we're broke. We kind of have to work with what we have. It truly do be like that. Imagine walking by a store and there's just a single glove and a piece of bread. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's either bread or a glove. You know, pick your poison. Which one do you like better? <laughs> going for all demographics. <laughs> We're going for the glove lovers and for the bread lovers. Clearly covering all the demographics. Okay. Now... Time to do business. I can't. Oh, there you go. At least your landlord didn't throw you out yet. That would be quite the speed run. <laughs> if she already threw me out before actually opening the shop. <laughs> well then, the items are in place and now you need to learn how to actually sell things to people without embarrassing yourself. Oh, well, that's going to be hard. <laughs> Oh, I actually just got back from a local glove and, bre <laughs> and bread shop. Man, I do love eating bread, but my hand gets dirty. What is that? A glove and the bread I desire? See, it's very convenient. <laughs> like, what if your what if your hand gets dirty while you're eating bread? And oh, would you look at that? It's the very conveniently placed glove, a single glove, not two gloves. <laughs> I couldn't afford the other one. The glove and bread shop only sells weapons. <laughs> Clearly, we're covering all the demographics. We're covering the weapon lovers. We're covering the bread lovers. The glove lovers. You know, truly do be like that. A singular glove. <laughs> if the students do not listen, they do not get any credit. Oh. oh so no credit to pass the semester, I see. The second glove is DLC, indeed. Now then, when a customer enters, be sure to greet them with a nice and big welcome! Okay. Uh, um, uh, welcome! Greeting the customer helps them to feel comfortable and relaxed. I would say it kind of depends. You know, sometimes you go inside a store and you just kind of want to look around. So if, like, the store clerk just walks up to you and is like, Welcome to my store! Please buy things! I would say that would, uh, that would scare me away. <laughs> So it kind of depends on how you greet them. If you're chasing them around the entire time and just being like, do you need help? Do you need help in like, are you looking for something? Do you need help? Because I have seen like in some stores that the, the store clerk will be following you around and would just be like, do you need help? Do you need help buying something? Are you looking for something? And it just makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> Like, sometimes you just want to look around, you know? If there's a creator in a store, I am walking out. <laughs> just like, welcome to the store, please buy something. True, I don't like being bothered when perusing the perfect glove bread pairing. <laughs> exactly. Now, a typical customer will find an item they want on our displays, yes. And then they'll come over to the counter to pay for it. Yeah, pretty standard. Clerks only do that if there was a shoplifting. Dude, is that really why they do it? I don't know if that's really why. Let me demonstrate. Can I get this, please? Um... Uh, we don't have that. I can sell you a rusty one, though. Um, um, um... um. <laughs> What they want will be in the target window. Yeah, we don't have that. I can tell you like two rusty ones for that. <laughs> you will also be able to see the name and base prize. What do I do if I don't have it? Do I just like... Lie? 
And tell them that I do. <laughs> oh, though she's developing valuable skills. Poor kid. Also, you press button three. Which one is button three? On the item in question, consult the custom .xc program included with Reseteer. If you wish to check or alter your button configuration, um... I... I didn't... I didn't check the source file, sorry. <laughs> Wait, button 3? Custom XE? Focus reset, your life is hard enough to control as it... <laughs> oh my god! She's like 10 years old! Your life is hard enough to control as it is! Oh my god! Why is she so savage? Oh, okay. Poor kid. Give her a break. Now then, next you must decide what price you wish to offer. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, Terry. Terry's going for the jocular on a kid. Oh my god. Poor kid. Now she's going to make her fill the accounting books. You know? You gotta get in on those... Accounting books reset. I know you're only 10, but someone has to keep track of the finances. In general, you want to try and name a price higher than the base. Try and name me a price if you will. Um, let's see. Okay, base price. You likely notice that the base price serves as your default. Yes, I was gonna change that. To raise your offer, press up. Press up? Okay. Okay. How far? No. Let's try. Maybe. Maybe this? Does he caress that is homeless and working? Oh no! Squeeze her for all her worth. I know if you go too high, they will just refuse you. Yes, very good. That is how you adjust your offer. As might be obvious, if a customer is satisfied with your offer, it is a sale and you get a little bit of experience along with the money. If your price is too high, however, a customer can simply walk out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If I go, like, insane, they're gonna be like, Nope, that's too expensive. I'm not paying for that. We're going to determine the proper price. There lies the challenge. Now, if a customer disagrees with the price, but not so much, that they want to storm out, then you can negotiate. Oh, I see. I mean, maybe if I beg. I mean, Rasad is a kid. She can probably beg for it. And get her way. Remember what I said about comfort earlier? That is the key here. Offer a price, but do not make it so outrageous that the customer feels you're not acting in good faith. I mean... They will probably cut her some slack since she's a kid. So if they disagree but stay, offer a new price. Ideally, you will lower your offer a little and they'll take it and give you a sale. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that is one way of putting it. You're learning the art of ripping people off. Everyone is just the savagest tear. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is everyone so savage to reset? She's just a kid. Some customers may just be trying to sniff out a better price when they're really willing to pay your initial price, however. Please buy my brand good, sir. <laughs> Please. Not my fault they paid 10,000 for a sword and some bread. <laughs> Whether or not you're risk testing that possibility is up to you. How long can you keep haggling? Well, that depends on how a regular customer the person in question is. Mmm, I see. So it kind of depends. If it's like a new customer, you probably can't go too crazy. But if it's a regular, you can probably... You probably have a little bit more playroom for that. Please sir, buy this glove for 200. This bread glove store is the only thing I have. Is the only thing that was left by my father. After customers begin to trust us a little, you can haggle for a longer period of time. Well, time to put the theory into practice. Okay. Ah, welcome. Can I get this, please? Okay, I pick a prize. Why is she asking for something I do not have? Okay, so we're gonna... I'm gonna go... Like this. Oh dear, if you try to charge this much, the customer is likely to throw the item in your face and storm out. Okay, that was a bit too much. He wants a long sword. We only got a dagger. We got daggers and rusty swords. Okay, let's try this. What? How low do you want me to go? Okay, what about this? At this level, you'll likely end up haggling up, bro. <laughs> 
Alright then, now for the fine art of haggling. Theoretically, what you wish to do is lower your price slowly, but as I mentioned, there is a limit to how long you can haggle. The idea is to deduce a customer's desire price and go from there. You could say, deduce the desire price. Hmm. Large number of stores sell at about 30% over base price. So we gotta go over 30% over base price. Hmm, I see, I see. So we... If we go above 100%, uh, people will not like that. It is not a hard and fast rule, but people usually accept that price level. Usually. Oh. Usually. <laughs> if you can manage to go over that, you'll make a lot of money, but you do not want to risk driving away a customer. Right then? So as a customer, I'm haggling. But you'll make it a little bit cheaper. Okay, cheaper. Um... Wait, no. So that's 80... 25... What if I go... Wait, no, that's too low. Ah, uh, What about... 250? But we hardly get any money out of that. Did she really buy it? I feel like... But we won't really... Okay, what about 1... 900? This is technically cheaper, but still high. Oh my god. Listen, lady, I gotta make some money here. I'm broke. Oh my god. She's still saying this is too pricey. What? Vermin of the customer as to whether or not you can make a sale. Well, that covers just about everything. Oh my god. Well, let us put that entire lecture into practice all at once. Man. Oh, crowd. <laughs> if you can sell me an item, you'll be ready for what lies ahead. Okay. Hello, look at the rest of here. The sword economy is in shambles. It truly is. How will we ever recover? Steal? I don't have that. <laughs> I don't have that. Oh, come on. I just <laughs> rip people off. <laughs> okay, so that's 3,000. Okay, so what about... Hmm... What about... No, we're gonna offer for 3,200. That's only 200 extra, that shouldn't be too bad. Yes, an excellent price! Thank you so much! Excellent, let us do that one more time just to be sure. Okay, okay. That wasn't too bad. Another steel slayer. I mean... He probably wants me to sell it at the same price that I sold it before. That's too low. If I go too high, she's not gonna want it. Like... If I go... Like this. Oh, she actually did want it. Last time, she was actually being really picky about it. It's really done. If you ever wish to practice again, simply ask me. Anytime we're in the shop. 130% minimum. Mmm... That was why. And that is essentially how it goes. You're quite good for someone who has never done this before. I mean... How many kids do you know that have done that? Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> really? We still have a little bit of time left today, so let us go ahead and open this store proper. If anyone comes in, simply handle them in the same way that we just practiced. Well, oh, are you sure it'll be okay? I mean, there's only one way to know. Do not worry, as the same goes, salesmanship is more of an art than it is a science. Hmm, is it really an art? Now then, I'll open us... I'll open us up, go on and sit at the counter. She's a natural. I mean... <laughs> oh, we got our customer! She wants the bread! <laughs> oh my god. I've been thinking about getting one of these for a while. <laughs> I've been thinking about getting one of these for a while, bread. Okay, let's see. So we can't go... Try... 150. What about 150? Fine, 130! <laughs> a base bread and deliver. Okay, I'll take that. Bread collector. <laughs> a bread collector? Oh 
Oh no, please do not collect the bread. It's gonna get moldy. Just eat it. Okay, Miss Cheapskate. <laughs> Come on, it was only like 50% above. <laughs> it wasn't like that bad. Congratulations, you did well. She could have paid a little bit more. I sold stuff. Yes, you indeed sold things. I, me, Reset, sold stuff, like, to people. I know, unbelievable, right? Sir, our bread are 100% premium flour? Exactly, it's premium flour. I went out there and harvested the wheat. And then, you know, kneaded the flour. I made that bread with my own two hands. Hey, Tear. I, I'm so happy, I... I did it, Tear, I did it. Is it Tear or Tear? Papa, I did it. Oh, not the dad. Not bringing the dad into the conversation. We sold bread! We sold our only food. Oh, is she gonna tell the story about the dad? Oh, she's... Oh, she is. And this is how I met the loan shark. Maybe it should be a bakery? <laughs> But if I were to... If I were to run a bakery, I will have to ask Miuna for advice. She is the bakery seal. A tale of a fairy and a girl. The goal of the game is to run the other bread and glove stores to the ground. <laughs> Eliminate the competition. And how to run an item shop. It all started when my dad went adventuring and he never came back. <laughs> oh no. I love how there's still happy music with this story. Oh, there she is. Let's see. Yep, the calendar says it's been three months since Papa left. No. No. Not the dad. <laughs> wow, what a perfect day for father. What a perfect game for Father's Day. Bro, no. <laughs> You laugh, but that's the actual plot. It's it's laughing through the pain. <laughs> he really went to get milk. I don't get why he suddenly said, I'm gonna be a hero. Oh, no. <laughs> no. And then took off without saying when he'll be back. Dad, why? <laughs> it's really Father's Day. No. Oh no, I really hope he's okay. I'm getting lonely. No, who reset? Oh no, she really is smiling through the pain. Well, I shouldn't worry too much about him. The best thing about him is how tough he is. You'll be okay. Oh, oh boy. Oh no. Listen, it's not about him being okay. It's about you being okay. <laughs> oh no, it's the lone sharks. Don't open the door! On Father's Day! <laughs> I forgot this happened! <laughs> Papa wouldn't knock? Who is that? Oh no. Is the lone shark? Don't open the door! Pretend no one's home! Hi. No, don't do it! Papa doesn't knock? Nah, he, he just enters through the window. That's what Papa does. <laughs> not home, just pretend you're not home. It's the lone shark. Huh? There's nobody here. Run, reset, run! Wait, what? At my feet? Oh, no. Oh, uh, well, GG. She had a good run. Um... You are Mademoiselle Reset Lemongrass. Um, Miss Fairy? Here wants to drive home that she knows where you live. She's probably the landlord. Pardon me, but another one asking questions. No! Again, you're Reset Lemongrass. Just say that you're not her. You're her uh, twin sister or something. Um, um, yes, I'm Reset. My name is Tyr. I am an agent of the term finance company. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm here to take over your house. You see, you are in debt. Finance company? I'm here to collect payment on a loan paid out to your father. Oh... Oh, no! Here is the contract and my identification. Oh, no, reset! Loan? Repayment? I, uh... In plainer terms, I'm here to 
get our money back. Oh. Oh, no. She's here to take your house. If you're incapable of facilitating repayment, this house will be seized as collateral in order to repay the loan. Oh, no. Reset. Run. Facilitating? Collateral? <laughs> to seize? Well, what? Reset, run! Demo, demo. But, but uh, I... Uh, Papa... Papa isn't... Ooh, that's not good. He's not here. Yes, I see that now. Y yeah, cut her some slack. She's a kid. Monzir and Lemongrass disappeared following a fracas atop the local volcano. So we assume he might have returned here. Ah, oh, thanks, Dad, for the picture. <laughs> thanks for the picture, I guess. <laughs> oh, even if he does not, however, the contract covers this eventuality. Ah, oh, how sweet of him. Covers this? Uh, I'm so sorry, Reset. I'm so sorry you had to... You had to learn this way. Quite, as the sole remaining member of his household... We shall require that you pay his debts in his stead. Oh no. <laughs> Wouldn't it like someone else pay the debts? I mean, she's a kid. I'm pretty sure it could be passed to like another family member, you know, an actual adult. <laughs> I see your father isn't here, so the house is mine. She's dead. <laughs> exactly, she's a kid. What a lovely father. I barely have enough money to live by myself. Naturally, we're not demanding it all be repaid at once. There is still a small amount of time before any payment is due. A small amount of time. You have a week. Therefore... Am I gonna get sold? Oh, no. <laughs> am I gonna get sold up in parts? Oh, no. Reset! To repay Papa's debts. I wonder if I can survive with only two internal organs. No! No, reset. <laughs> Maybe if I eat a lot of spinach, that can replace my blood and... Oh, no. Reset, reset, sweetie, no. <laughs> but I don't want to be the sailor. What am I gonna do? Oh. Ahem, please listen to me for a moment. I mean, I don't think anything that you have said sounds like good news. I have no clue where you're getting these ludicrous ideas from. But I would never do such a thing. Quite the opposite, in fact. I'm just gonna force you to work at the shop. I was sent here to ensure that you wouldn't have to resort to such... Well, absurd methods to pay us back. The debt begins. Uh, what? I have, s I have been sent to support you to the fullest of my ability. So that you may repay the debt via labor. Ah, uh, Oh, boy. Oh, reset. But I've never worked a single day in my life. I mean, she is 10, so of course. Experience has no bearing in this case. All that matters is whether or not you're willing to work. Oh, no. Oh, no. If you do not wish to work, then that's it. The house is terms. And I'll have to ask you to leave the premises. You're going to let her be hopeless? How harsh, how harsh can you be? She's a kid! As the saying goes, those who do not work do not eat. She's a kid! So, Miss Lemongrass, which will it be? Work or the house? Uh, oh my god, she's so merciless. She's so heartless! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why is she so heartless? Oh my god, she's so mean. Listen, reset, sweetie. <laughs> I get these like a quarter million dollars. No! no. But, but I couldn't even know what, what I could do. Actually, I already have an idea on that front. Listen, reset, we're running a bread and glove shop. I know, it's going to be quite the revolutionary idea. In addition, this house faces out onto one of the main city lanes. Therefore... I propose converting the house into an item store. Item store? Oh, so we're basically turning our house into the shop. So that's how it goes. Ah. <laughs> yes. That is how it goes. Oh yeah, uh, 
uh, I forgot to, to mention, uh, donations will be read at the end of the stream, by the way. Because I just noticed that uh, someone donated, so... To pretty much, like, prevent the derailing from the stream, we'll, I'll be reading all donations at the very end. <laughs> just wanted to clarify that. Reset? Oh, she's gone! She ran away! Reset, be free! She's gone. She made it out. What, what's the lemongrass? Run, reset! Run! Oh no. She's hiding under the bed. I was only gone for a little while to, while to do market research. Where could she have gone? Uh, I'm being silly. Of course she fled. Why would she not? I mean... She is a kid. Do you really expect her... Do you really expect her to stay? And be like, oh yes, your dad left uh, left you with a lot of debt and you're gonna have to work to pay it off. Do you really think she would not run away? All I did was spend to take away everything she ever knew and loved. Oh, why? Why would she run away? All I did was like, yeah, I'm gonna take her home and you're gonna be homeless. That, that, that's it? I mean, who would run away when you tell them that? It's totally... Impossible. Unheard of, even. Asking her to turn the house into an item shop was foolish. Even if I was to repay the debt, it's a total mystery. <laughs> the poor girl must be terribly confused. Oh, why did she run away? <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> and on top of that, her father is probably... Wait, is he dead or did he just, like, disappear? I have a feeling maybe he died. Wait, outside? Oh, she's she's already trying her best. Oh, look at her go. Yay, it's done. Listen, if her dad's dead, there has to be a will. That is true. There has to be like some sort of will, right? Unless he did not actually write a will. Then, um, yeah. well, that's an issue. <laughs> Dear, look, it's done! What is that? The will is the shop, but there is no shop. It's just the house. <laughs> it's our shop sign, of course. Doesn't it look cool? You can't be a shop without one of these, you know? You inherit all my debts. No! <laughs> That's so sad. Yes, well, it is quite well made, however. <laughs> Hey, I've always been good at making stuff. Aw, she's just trying her best. Aw, the poor girl. What if he put more depth in his will? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Be that as it may, while well, the sign is nice, I... Mm, don't tell her it's ugly. Come on, she's trying her best. If you tell her she's ugly, she's gonna cry. Huh? Is there a problem? Well, the name... You're quite sure you have thought that through? More dubs and dads will know! <laughs> that would be the saddest thing ever if there's just more dubbed. Well, we're partners, right? You said so! And title drop! So, put Reset and Tear together with Rest and Tear! Isn't it neat? We got the title drop. Well, that is to say, the sentiment is commendable, but... It's just the two of us opening the store. Roll the credits. Yep, just roll the credits. So the name sure reflect that, right? She's too wholesome. Protect her. <laughs> oh, you gotta protect the reset. She's too baby. You don't like it? Really, it is not that, but well, that is. <laughs> then it's decided. Rest Reseteer. Not the star we need, but the star we deserve. <laughs> True. Is the fairy gonna bail? I mean, I don't think she would bail because she needs the money that we owe, so... It's not really convenient for her to bail, actually. Mispronounce it even slightly, um... Wait, mispronounce it. Reseteer? 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 I don't get it. Is there something in there? Racketeer. Oh! Racketeer, racketeer. Oh, I see. 
Ah, uh, I, I see, I see what they did there. So is there any documentation of this debt that reset verified Tears' identity? If the debt is made up and Tears just some rando pocketing the money, oh, that would suck. I mean, I don't. I mean, she must have some documentation. Tear must have some documentation. Why did she not show it to us? That is the true mystery. This job is going to be even more absurdly difficult than I originally suspected, I fear. Imagine she's just like a rando trying to get money. Oh. This sure wasn't going to be dull. I mean, it really isn't. Time to learn finances. Stop cursing at me, dear. How is it possible to sleep this much each day? I mean... Is it really that surprising? Let her sleep! Mmm, dear! Mmm, let's do the very best we can. We just open late. We're a nocturnal shop. <laughs> so we just open late every day. Oh, she's mad. She's mad. She's going to pull me out of bed. <laughs> Here, I got my money back, but I turned a 10 year old kid into a billionaire. <laughs> 10 year old becomes billionaire. <laughs> Selling bread in a singular glove is most certainly not dull. <laughs> we already sold the bread, so. <laughs> oh, thanks for stopping by. See ya. Oh, how? Who's on first? Oh, oh, oh dear, right? Good morning. The clock does not have a good morning hand. Well, it should. This is here. You're the proprietor of an item shop now. So? I'm the boss. That means I make the rules. <laughs> That's how it works. You must learn to be responsible and not sleep the day away. But if you're the boss, doesn't that mean you make the rules? Big brain. Five brain. <laughs> hey, right! Why in the name of heaven are you smiling so much? What? Do you, do you not like happiness, Tear? What's wrong with happiness? That smile you had while sleeping is just getting bigger. Man, something tells me she doesn't like being happy. I open when I arrive and I close when I leave. Hey! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, uh, no reason. I just think I saw something nice in my dreams. Here, let's give it her all! Well, if you really are dedicated to making this work... The clock does not dismiss you, I do! <laughs> That's how it works. Good heavens, look at the time! It only says work. <laughs> no! <laughs> Wash yourself and meet me downstairs. Hi! Uh, will do! Hi! It's day two! Okay. So I have an item shop and stuff, and it's all cool and awesome. She's so optimistic. She really is so optimistic. She's trying her best. So, uh, what do I do now? We have to sell. That is up to your judgment. If we can sit at the counter, we can open immediately. Or we can reorganize the shop, or we could even go search for a new stock. We don't have money. <laughs> we don't have money, so we... Pretty much have to at least sell either the glove or one of the weapons. And then we can just go look for things at the dungeon. Or the cave or whatever it is called. Money doko. <laughs> Money is nowhere to be found. Okay, I got this. Yikes, that's a ton of options. How do I choose? It is as I said earlier. Running a place like this is more of an art than it is something you can simply follow a map through. Could always buy more bread. <laughs> At this point, we're just going to become a bakery. Clearly, that's what the customers want, am I right? Simply pick something, we'll deal with what comes. Well, okay. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try and see if I can sell the glove. And if I cannot, I would just go look for something. Let's try opening the store. Oh, we got... Oh my god, we got people. Welcome! Can I help you with anything? He wants the glove! He wants to be Thanos. <laughs> Are 
you buying bread in the weapon store? <laughs> Ooh, he wants the bread. Okay. Can I sell it at 300? Ah, well, I guess 300 is too much for you. Uh, let's see. What about 260 then? Fine, I'll sell it at 260. Come on. What? You're a cheapskate! He's a cheapskate! We don't need a cheapskate at our store. <laughs> I sold it at 40%! You know what? I don't need a cheapskate. <laughs> okay. Can I go... Oh, I can't go to the dungeons yet? It's like I can't go to the dungeons yet. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> we saw <saw> nothing! <laughs> he didn't want to buy the glove! You know what? We're gonna try again. Wait, I can? Oh, it's the guild. Right, right, right. Those are one of a kind. You can't sell them cheap. I was trying to not sell them cheap, but he was like, Oh, no, make it cheaper. Fine. We'll, we'll go look for other items. Say, what's this place? This is the Adventurer's Guild. The guild manages expeditions to the various untamed wilderness. <laughs> Come on, the glove is like my best item. And he's just like, oh, make it cheaper. Come on, dude. I'm running a business here. I need to stay afloat. Oh, see, I wasn't wrong. There are called dungeons. Without approval, adventurers cannot visit the dungeons. So I need permission, in other words. Ah, oh, nuts! So we can't just go into a dungeon and pick up everything we see? If we could do that, we could sell everything. We get it 100% profit. Lots of folks here in chat wanting those gloves and he didn't want to pay that 30% extra. I know! He wanted me to go cheaper! Unbelievable! It's still a very good idea. A great many people have made fortunes that way. If you wish to do so, however, we must first hire an adventurer. Hire? With what money? <laughs> Oh, sells the store for 100. Make it cheaper. Okay, then it's 200. <laughs> oh, man. He just wants me to go even cheaper. I can't do that. I will be broke. The truth of the matter is a bit more complicated. Even if you pay them, few adventurers are willing to risk their lives simply for the benefit of a complete stranger. Hmm. But they said 130% uh, was good enough. If I go 120, I don't think I'll gain any profit. Fine. I guess we'll see who's willing to help. Oh, so you turn away people they don't know very well. I mean, that's obvious, yeah. Indeed, you should get... You should first get to know a few adventurers and build up a certain level of trust with them. Ah. Socialize. I mean, 120% is 20% profit. I guess we could go 20% for a bit. And then we can increase 30. Because they said 30% was recommended. I thought everybody would agree, but they did say most people. I guess that old man wasn't most people. <laughs> Fine. With that in hand, we can bring an adventurer with us. So it's like they're inviting us to a dinner party. Ah, uh, sure. That's how it works, right? Well, dinner parties usually do not include blood and mad bees attempting to rip you limb from limb. You know what? She makes a fair point. The OG son is a bit of a cheapskate. <laughs> Come on. Why is he gotta be so mean? He could have bought it for 30%. But no, he wanted me to go lower. If we build up trust when adventurer, can we ask him to protect us from the lone shark? Oh, man. The game wide. Almost everyone refuses 130%. Oh, my God. So we're gonna have to go lower than that. Ooh. That's hardly any profit. Which, for us, should not be that difficult, yes? After all, we run an item shop, so we should get a few coming in as, cl as clients on a fairly regular basis. Oh, yeah! Well, then, I'll do my best to get a dinner invitation. Indeed, just be careful that reset is not on the menu. Oh. Oh, no. Please, no. Huh? Is something wrong? Did you realize something? Oh, that guy over there. Oh. 
だから。Listen to me! If I can't work, I can't get the money. Oh. See? We, we're already kindred souls. You already can relate to us. <laughs> It's meant to be. That means he's our guy. He's also broke. <laughs> He's also broke just like us. We're meant to be business partners. <laughs> oh, man. And if I can't get the money, I can't get the items. Broke gang. <laughs> It truly do be like that. And if I can't get the items, apparently I can't work. He's just like me. For real, for real. <laughs> Heaven, if I had a few things, I could at least visit the Hall of Trials. Oh my god. I wonder what's going on. Let's talk to him. He's just like us. He seems to be a rookie adventurer complaining about his inability to complete the required gu guild test. Uh, you, you don't need to call him out like that. Test? Well, the guild hardly allows anyone in off the street. Damn, they're strict. You can only work officially for the guild after passing a test. Hey, you'll need to have money for that, apparently. An item shop owner is hardly the only job with challengers. We live in a society. Hmm, I have an idea. Huh? I do believe we have found our first adventure. <laughs> so we really are just going to talk to him because we're both broke. That's the best way to bond. Wait, what do you mean by a uh, tear? Wait! Toto! Toto! Ah. Hello, fellow broke uh, gang member. Future gang member. I burned what cash I had just getting to the city. Hello, fellow broke gang member. <laughs> If I can't get into the guild, I don't know what I'll even do for dinner money. Oh, I'm hungry. Great. Pardon me for a moment, you there, adventurer with the seedy look. Who, do you, who are you calling seedy? You got him mad. No, he's not gonna be your friend. Uh, uh, uh well, well, you two would be? We are a pair of merchants who happen to be passing by, totally not listening in to your conversation. No, no, no. We would never do that. Merchants? Oh, you heard me talking. Sorry, but I'm way too broke and seedy to buy anything. <laughs> He actually confessed to the seedy part. Believe me, I could tell by your seedy nature that you... That attempting to sell you anything will be a colossal waste. <laughs> Bro, dear! This is why we don't have customers. Oh my god. Come on, dear. Stop with the CD already. He isn't a plan. So, are you two going to prune me or what? Dear? Dear, please, why? We're trying to get customers. You calling them out like that? Would you like it if we came with you to the Hall of Trials? If you require equipment or items, we can provide them. Wait, we can? Well, I guess I have rusted weapons that he can use. I would call you a pair of angels then, but why? Business, naturally. Ma'am, she's honest to a fault. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too honest. We help you pass the trial. You provide us with your card. Oh, I get it. He helped Mr. Soisman clear the dungeon. And then he gives us his card, a sign of her eternal friendship. Oh my god. She's too... she's too pure. Eternal friendship is rather irrelevant in this case. <laughs> Dear, please. We're trying to get on his good side. Stop it. <laughs> But it does work out neatly for all of us. What do you say? I mean, you guys are pretty new at all of this too, huh? Our offer, Mr. Swordsman. Yes or no? Here, this is why we don't have any friends. <laughs> oh, come on. Please say yes. Please say yes. Yes. All right, then. I got nothing to lose. Well, aside from my previous... Uh, aside from my precious life, anyway. Yeah, Yay, vacations! Glad to meet you two. Um... I'm Reset. Nice to meet you. I think Tear might be my new Oshi. <laughs> Oh no, not Tear. I am Tear. Reset has a lot of friends in this game. Tear is the one that does it. <laughs> I mean, I wonder why. Uh. 
Yoroshikuna. Tommy Louie, Louie the Swordsman. Good to meet ya. Yes, yes. Now then, we'll begin all of the preparations for a dungeon visit. Including a visit to the central market to pick up food and other restorative items. We will then return here for you when we're ready. Right, I'll be waiting here. My boy Louie. Uh, the fellow member from the Broke Gang. Okay, so... Can I give him one of the weapons? I'll be taking that. Meet and greet with your Oshi tier and she adds you a pile of depth papers? No! Okay, can I give him this? Oh, uh, he has a ward sword. So he already has a sword. Huh. I guess I don't need to give him this one? I guess I'll just leave it back then. Okay, so let's see the market. Can I buy... No, I want to buy bread. Oh, okay. Does it heal anything? Ah, bring food, bring food. Yeah, that's what I was trying to see. 700! Oh my god. I can buy bread. My destiny is just to bring bread. Does the food actually heal? Or is it only the medicines? Okay, I guess I'll buy... Some bread. No, I need that AD. It heals. Apple heals, candy heals, MP. Mmm. I don't think I can afford candy. Okay, I got three bread. You got the bread. Okay. Let's see, go back to the Adventurer's Guild. Pick the items you wish to bring with you and finish select like, the depart. Option at the top left. Okay. So we're going to bring all the bread. That should be good. Is here a relative of Paimon? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. We're just stocking on bread. That's how we're doing this. Into the dungeon we go. So, this is the dungeon. Just so. Welcome to the jungle, as they say. Ah, that's a reference. You know, are we just going to hold Louie back here? I mean, I'm not a monster slayer. I'm scared. The two of us are perfectly safe. There is a protective field around the two of us. A very convenient protective field. To the monsters, we may as well be invisible. Really? That's amazing! Apparently, the protective field does not apply to Louie. He got he gets to take all the damage. <laughs> Poor Louie. So, Louie's perfectly safe too, then. Oh, not quite. Oh, why not? Louie will sometimes show up in your show now, in your shop now. Oh, interesting. Well, in the field, we do not need to worry about monsters. Louie is expendable, no! We just met him. He can't die on us. Your personal shield. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> but this is accomplished by making us virtually intangible to everything inside this place. We can directly manipulate nothing. Wait, we can't collect things. Why are we here then? Uh, because why not? That's why our adventurer remains outside the field. So Oh, I see. He'll pick up stuff. Up. He'll pick up stuff for us. Here doesn't care to protect Lily because she can't get free labor. <laughs> no, poor guy. Should our adventurer be injured, we can place him in the field and retreat. So if he's like about to die, that's when we save him. Otherwise, nah, he fine. Oh, poor, poor, poor guy. Since we must carry him back, however, we can take very little else with us. One item at most. So, even if we run into trouble, we don't lose everything? But wait, I thought you said we can't... Yes, I'll elaborate further if need to be later. Okay. I, I guess she's only going to elaborate if needed. Naturally, if we can get out of safely, we can bring as much as our bags will allow us to carry. Oh, wait. As much as our bags allow will allow? Well, our bags are not bottomless. If we run out of space, it will be up to us to decide what to keep or discard. So the adventurer focuses on adventure. While we keep track of what loot he should keep. I guess that makes sense. Hey, <laughs> okay, Let's get to it. Okay, it is time. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is how you... It... Is there a... Oh, so... This is how you shield. 
But huh. slimes. Yeah. Oh, is that like money yeah. or what are those gems? Reset is ho left holding yeah. the bags because Tier can't be bothered huh. holding the bags. Huh. Gotta give them to Reset instead. Huh. Poor girl. Yeah. I mean, poor huh. Lily and yeah. Reset actually. Tier is just kind of there. Huh. Oh, that yeah. was bad. That was bad. That was really bad. That was not a good idea. Yeah. That was actually not a smart idea. I'm trying to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is how you block. Reset, hold all the bags up to your house. Oh no. It's just reset, hold the bags. I'm too busy. I'm putting the shield up or whatever it is that she's doing. Oi, stop running. Why are you running? There you go. Why can't I take this? Do I not have enough space? Oh, here's a combo. Nice. I see, I see. Ah! I meant to attack it. That was not part of the plan. Okay, how do what's how do I open my bag? I'm trying to open the bag to get the bread. That was not what I wanted to do. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay. This is how you open it. Use. Well, there goes all my SP. Yeah. I was trying yeah. not to use it. But they don't really explain the mechanics for this. Yeah. So you pretty much have to just figure it out by pressing buttons. Oh, he leveled up! Yeah. Nice! Come here. Yeah. Oh, don't move away. Oh, my SP recovered. Why can't they grab the slime? Oh, you have to press A over it. I thought you would just grab it automatically. But no. I see, I see. So that's how it works. Just take over the item to pick it up. Hmm. Yeah. So that's how you do it. Yeah. Okay, the green ones are more resistant than the blue ones. Might have to use my special on them. But I also don't know if there's like a... There's probably gonna be a boss in this dungeon. That's my... Yes. Ooh! He got a crit! He's getting there. He's getting there. Oh, that's not good. Louie, no! Get away. Come here. I got the blue one. I'm trying to cover my back, but I keep forgetting. Oh, the crystals are XP. So that's what the crystals were. I thought they were money. These are basically experience, huh? Can we actually sell slime fluid? Or is it just not gonna be good? Can people actually buy the slime fluid? <laughs> I don't know if people actually want to buy that. I mean, who knows? Maybe somebody will be interested. Space is limited. Leaving stuff behind is pretty common. I guess if we find something more valuable, we're just gonna ditch that. Oh, yeah. I forgot that one. Yeah. Come here. You can find the only slime fluid. There has to be something more valuable than that. Yeah, we're getting some good levels, so that's good. Ooh! Yeah. Chocolate bar! From a slime! It's probably not gonna yeah. be good, but... Yeah. The customer doesn't have to know that. That we got chocolate from a slime. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Stop running! Ooh! Ooh! Souvenir charm. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pretty sure we can sell that for something. Not sold on the slimy chocolate. <laughs> they don't have to know where the chocolate has been. <laughs> hey, as long as they buy it, that, that's all that matters. Yeah. As long yeah. as they buy the chocolate, that's all that matters in the end. Stop running! Why are you running? Oh, yes. Give me all the goods. Yeah. Give me all the goods. I haven't found any more things that are not slime chocolate. The charm gives you stats too. Mmm. If it's better than any of the current equipment that Louis has, I might just give it to him. The slime adds flavor. Oh god. Does it taste like jello? <laughs> I mean, does slime actually taste like jello or does it taste like something else? Actually, I don't think I want to know what it tastes like. I can let the customer find that out. But I don't think I want to find out myself. Wait. Is there any more? Ooh, what's this? Wait, no. I want to see if there's something else in this floor. 
And if there's nothing else, we can just go to the next floor. You don't need to talk of the ingredients. Yeah. You just need yeah. to tell them that it's yeah. good. Yeah. Yes. Ah. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah. I need to avoid them from surrounding me. No, Louie. Don't die on me, Louie. I can't use all that bread. I need to sell it. Oh, sword. Oh, I think my equipment is... Oh, never mind. Oh, it's a worn sword? Never mind. I thought it was gonna be better than that. I thought it was gonna be better than a worn one. Your special is good when you're surrounded. Yeah, but the problem is that uh, my special is... Does not have a lot of points left. Yeah. I think I already got everything from this floor. I think this, the slimes just are basically just respawning at this point. I'm trying to check if I'm not forgetting anything. But I think I already got everything. Yeah, all the red points are just like regular slimes. But yeah, we pretty pretty much just got everything from here. I don't think there are any treasure chests or anything valuable here. <laughs> so I don't think there's anything good. I'm here. I'm here, buddy. Give me the goods. Okay, let's go to the next floor. We might find something better. Oh, red ones! What? Oh, these ones are way more sturdy than the others. I keep finding slime fluid. What am I gonna do with this much slime fluid? I don't think people are gonna buy it. Ooh. Ooh, shield. I don't know what Louis's shield actually... Bread! Oh, yes. I'm gonna become a baker. <laughs> The glove and bread shop. The legacy of the glove and bread shop continues. <laughs> this singular glove and bread. Because I can't afford the other glove. <laughs> the other glove is just DLC. DLC that will come out eventually. I don't know when that eventually will be. Maybe I'll find another glove. Oh, candy. Oh, we can sell that. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. I managed to get rid of... Oh, that's not good. Okay, I managed to get rid of most of... What is that? Ingredient? That is kind of suspicious. That is... That is actually kind of suspicious. Question mark ingredient. Oh, come on, Louis. No! Get away. I think you got it. X... No, you get your HP recovered if you actually, like... Level up. I kind of want to avoid using the bread as much as possible. Because I can probably sell that. So... If Louis... I was trying to use this special, but it didn't work. I guess you have to have it... Complete? It's weird. I thought you could still use it as long as you had some SP, but apparently not. I tried using it and it didn't work. Ooh, no. Yeah. Okay, which was the block button? No, that's not the block button. Oh, you need five SP. Hmm. So that's how it works. I thought you could use it as long as you had at least one. Ooh, a long sword! I'm keeping that. I, I kind of need it for Lily, so... If I find another one, I'll sell it. But I'm keeping this one for myself. <laughs> I kind of need it more. So... Yeah. He's gotta have to... Wait. So do you need like four? Or do you need at least five? To do your special attack. Come here. Come here, buddy. Stop running. The long sword. He's going to become overpowered eventually. Maybe. <laughs> oh. He's not Daijobu. He's getting attacked by slimes. My man is clearly not doing very daizobu. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, you can actually equip it right now? I thought you weren't allowed to equip things. Until you were outside. I know. Equip. Word sword. Where is the... Oh, there you go. Ah, oh, the wooden shield. I think I got a charm as well. Where's the charm? Wait, did I not grab it? I think I passed it, actually. Oh, souvenir charm. Ah, uh, it may well be powerful. Then he increases his magic defense. Does he need it? I don't know if the slimes do magic attacks? Oh, so I'll give it 
to him for now. Yeah, I would say it's better than nothing, yeah. What? What? Yeah. Give me that XP, give me that sweet XP. Is this more slime fluid? It's a yeah. lot of slime fluid. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this. I think I'm probably going to drop some of the slime fluid if I find something better. Because I don't think people are going to come to our store and just be like, Ah, oh, yes, I want all the slime fluid that you have. I don't think we're gonna get many customers for that. He would not give it back at the end of the dungeon, if I'm not mistaken, but he'll use it for now. Oh, so he basically gives it back. Uh, I mean, I would rather that he had yeah. it instead uh, of, you know... Yeah. Actually just using a worn sword the entire time. More slime fluid. Please be something good. Ooh, what's this? Cloth cape. Mmm. It's all slime fluid. <laughs> It's really all just going to be slime fluid from now. Oh god. No! I got quartered! Oh, uh, he only keeps it if he buys it from the store. Oh, he's that type of guy. So he probably thinks that everything I'm equipping on him right now, he's going to have to return eventually. Come on, dude, we're on the same team. Here, we'll probably charge him to keep the items. You're not wrong. And that's kind of sad because you're not wrong. <laughs> I can pretty much see Tyr doing that. Oh my god. I don't know what that enemy is, but that enemy is a bit annoying to deal with. He doesn't really drop anything. What even is that thing? Okay, we already explore everything on the on the mini map, so we're getting out of here. We're just leaving this place. Ooh, no, it's that thing again. What even is that? Ooh, that's not good. Oi, come back here! Don't just hit and run. You can't just hit and run. Come on. Fight me. I need all the all the drops. Slime fluid? I don't even know how much slime fluid I have. Apple! Oh, okay. Yes, I'm going to have to drop some of it. <laughs> beat them up! Yes, gotta beat all of them up. Okay, yes, we're going to definitely get rid of some of the slime fluid. Oh my god, half my inventory is slime fluid. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna get rid of... Use? I don't... I don't think I want to know what happens if I use it. I have a feeling it's gonna be a bad stat. I know there's some games that definitely do that. What is that? What is that thing? Okay, it's dead. I don't know what it was. But... I think I'm better off not knowing what that thing was. <laughs> oh my god. It was the slime fluid? Uh, I have a bad feeling it... Kind of... It's letting like a debuff. Oh, there's more. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting surrounded and I can't use my special. That's not good. Yeah. I want the, the secret ingredient. Okay, there's definitely a lot of slime fluid that I need to get rid of. Because I'm getting the better drops. They're called yeah. Ropers? Is that their name? That's a... Yeah. peculiar name for them. Yeah. To be fair, I don't know what I would call them. I don't know what they're supposed to be. <laughs> if I'm entirely honest. Okay, we're going to... I think I'm gonna definitely drop all the ones that do not give you any plus anything. Okay, so definitely all of these. If they give you at least like a plus one, I'll keep them. Okay, plus four, plus four, okay. That's good. And I'll take the candy too. Ugly critters. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you're not wrong. Oh, no, they're back. <laughs> they have been summoned. Do they have like a... What do they call this? Like a monster... Kind of like a monster Wikipedia or something. In this game. I know some games tend to have that, but I don't know if uh, Reseteer is one of them. Because I'm kind of curious if it kind of gives you like a description of what those yeah. things are supposed to be. Wait, come here. I hit the wall. I meant to hit this guy. But I hit the wall instead. Bro, come here. Stop running. There you go. We got all the good stuff. Wait, you're still a, be a bestiary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like a bestiary. Oh, there's, there's a bunch of slimes. Yeah. 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 Huh. Oh, 
candy. I need the candy. I... No. Yes. We have like a beastie area monster book. Kind of like something like that. I wonder if this game has that. I'm curious. It would be kind of interesting to see a description of some of these monsters. I mean, the slimes, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna say, like, much about them. Yeah. But at least the other ones. Oh, the secret ingredients. I want to keep them. Okay, let's see. Why do I get rid of? Uh, but all of these are actually kind of good. I don't want to kind of... I don't want to get rid of anything. Uh, maybe if I equip something... Maybe if I equip something, I can actually use that as a workaround? Mm. We'll use some bread. Oh, my HP is not that low. But I guess it's better than, you know... I was planning to sell the bread, but fine. I guess Louie can have it. <laughs> Secret ingredients aren't always worth it? Mm. Oh, this thing got in the way. I mean, yeah, it's probably kind of like a randomizer thing. Like, some of them might be good, and then others might not be so good. But, you know... We might lose something good. Oh, that kind of looks... What is that? Candy heals at speed. Oh, maybe we can use that, actually. Okay, I still have... I'll use the regular one. Oh, yeah, it definitely heals us. My bad. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, hat. And there goes the only inventory space that I had. <laughs> oh, man. Well, GG. Am I gonna have to eat all my candy for that? I don't wanna eat all the candy. Maybe if I equip things, I can use that as a workaround. Because he, he'll give them back, right? So... Maybe we can use the equipment... As a workaround? So maybe that. Yeah. Never mind, that did not work. <laughs> Consume. Man, GG. Bye bye, bread. I have another one, so it's fine. <laughs> Man. Uh, you can't throw away his equipment. Can you actually leave the dungeon already? Because I ha my inventory is full. Would that help you leave? I don't know if they allow me to leave. Or do I have to get to the final floor before I can leave? I don't know if this dungeon kind of has like a... Oh, you can't leave until you find a door? Man, this is suffering. <laughs> There's good stuff, but I don't have space. I actually have to prioritize. Which is not good because I want to take everything. <laughs> Either die or find a door. Oh, but if you die, you lose almost everything. Except one item. Yeah, we're gonna have to... Oh, no, that thing is there. Gonna have to get rid of these guys first. Get out of here. Okay. Let's drop something for now. We're gonna drop this slime fluid. Just so we can see what's in here. Ooh. We got an old muffler. Uh, well, we can sell that, so... I don't know how much the slime fluid is even gonna sell for. Okay, there's nothing really good in here. Already saw everything. So we can't really... Oh, ooh, no. We can't really leave until we find a door. I truly do be that way. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to prioritize what seems, you know, better. Honestly speaking, I don't think the slime fluid is gonna sell. We might get some uh, people that might be into that. I don't think it's going to sell t to, you know, the common... Uh, the common people. The common folk. I don't think the common folk is really into that sort of thing. <laughs> oh! This is... Did I do it? I did it, didn't I? Ah, oh, he's so happy! Mushroom materials in general are more for fusion than selling. Hmm. Well, our merchant level is still very low, so we don't really gain much from fusing. Yeah, it. I did it! I've cleared the Hollow Trials! Oh, sweet mystery of life! Now you'll give me money! <laughs> oh, oh my god! Poor... The poor boy! Yeah, Way to go, Louie! Broke gang! It truly do be like that! 
reset tier. This is all thanks to you guys. He's not wrong. <laughs> My boy is just trying to he's trying to live paying you know my paycheck. He's just trying to live, you know? He's trying his best. He's broke. Just like this entire gang. This is all well and good, but there's a treasure chest just ahead. It behooves us to investigate thoroughly. Here, you really do like going for the money, don't you? You you just realized that? <laughs> what? I do not spout such foolishness. There is no need to treat me like a flying ball of greed. Y yeah, sure. After you literally said to Louis, Oh yeah, I think selling you anything would be like a waste of time. Because you're broke. <laughs> she literally said that to him. Hey, hey now. I love you some treasure too. Don't worry, Tear. I feel you on this. Really? You two completely misunderstand me. Uh, is that so? I don't know about that. I don't know, Chief. I think we have a good grasp. So, the contents of the chest? <laughs> Give me just a second here. Oh, it's accounting papers. Hey! Wow, cards! My favorite! So, this is an adventurer's guild card. Uh, uh here, reset. Take one, like we promised. We went all this way just for a card. <laughs> papers, please. Huh? Oh, yeah, okay. Reset, you sweet summer child. <laughs> oh, she's so precious. You have to protect her. Well, you did promise to give us your card eventually. We're not so crass as to demand your very first card. You really should think about who you want to give your first. No, I want this. Reset, I beg you, please take my very first card. Ah, he's such a sweet guy. Also protect Lily. <laughs> Oh, They're a really broke gang. A broke gang must stick together. Awesome, I can't wait to adventure with you two some more. Really now, young people. Listen, they're just trying their best. There's a door. We can finally get out. The broke gang. Hey, dear, what's this thing that just showed up? The lovable dummies. They truly are. They're so lovable. Ah, yes, that... That is commonly referred to as a goho. As a what? Um, what am I? What am I? A door of return, I mean. If you enter that door, you can return to town in an instant. The broke gang look after each other. <laughs> exactly, broke gang has to look after each other. They stick together. This one has appeared because we have cleared the dungeon, but they are often encountered during normal exploration too. I believe they usually appear roughly every five levels or so. Nemo. But wait, if we take this back to town when we're halfway in... Don't we have to start all the way at the beginning again? Yes, that is indeed how it works. Not at all. Wait, really? We can always head back to the floor that had a door on it. Oh, they're kind of like a checkpoint. That is useful. In fact, if you do not use a door, you do have to restart. Oh, huh. That's an interesting game mechanic. So, if we find a door, we should always use it? Almost always. If we need to rest or unload, then we should use the door. Remember, though, returning home takes time. Furthermore, leaving ends the current contract with our companion. And we would have to rehire him or choose a new one. If there is something specific in a dungeon that you desire, you can simply ignore the doors and press onward. Alrighty then. I think we have to go home now, though. Yeah, we don't have space. We have too many things. Quite so. Oh, just to be sure, in the future, please try to avoid referring to this as going home, yes? Why? Okay... Why? What, what's wrong yeah. with referring to it? What's wrong with referring to them that way? We did it! All the things that we got. You did well. We sold the bread and we bought nothing. <laughs> Oh, we only sold the bread. <laughs> oh, the dev continues. Okay. I said, may I have a moment, please? Sure, what's up? Concerning the dev... Uh, not the dev, it's only day three, please. I have a suggestion concerning its payment. Uh-oh. You do? 
Oh, paying it all back at once, it's totally beyond your means. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> so I recommend smaller weekly payments to slowly chip away at it. A holy beyond? Uh, you know... It never told me how big Papa's death is exactly. You don't want to know. I don't think you want to know. <laughs> that is because you would faint if you found out. For now, it is a secret. Oh, so she is sometimes nice. I would faint. Uh-oh. That's a big debt. As the store begins to build up steam, we'll increase payment size. A very big debt. Way too big, actually. 10,000. Oh, boy. The repayment date nearest to the current date, along with the amount due, will be displayed on the calendar in the main menu. Happy Father's Day. Oh no! Please be sure to check it regularly! Oh, sure! Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'll keep an eye on it! Y yes, ma'am, I'll keep an eye on the job. Okay. Let's see. Going to play. Hmm. I'm going to see how the slime fluid does. We're gonna try and see because people are still a bit of a cheapskate. Right now, so I don't want to put like our best items just yet. Clearly, the bread sells well, so I'm going to put some bread. I put some candy and wrinkling apple. And let's try selling. Hmm, I'll sell this old muffler as well. Okay, let's see if it works this time around. Oh! It's the old man again. He's back. Do we actually trust here to not lie about how much the debt is, though? You know what? You make a good boy. <laughs> oh, he wants the bread. That's her best item. Okay. I'm gonna go with the 30%. 30%. You're such a cheap skate! Fine! Oh my god, he's such a cheapskate! It's 30%! Thank you! real, you're scamming on us, old man! Jesus. He couldn't get the gloves, so he's after the bread. Man, he's such a cheapskate. But I guess I'll have to... Oh, he's back. You what? No, I'm not selling this cheap. I don't care. I don't care if he could spat at me. I'm not selling this to you. So, old man, you're gonna actually have to pay. I'm not selling this to you. So, I'll offer 350. If you do not accept that, that that's your loss. I can't afford to go on this one trip. Oh my god, you're some cheesecake! Fine, 300. You're a cheapskate! Get out of my store! I don't need you here. Aww. I need to figure out a way to get hold of the mortress on this house. <laughs> Listen, man. Okay. Oh, she wants an apple. This is a present for my brother. I think that might be a little bit of a cheapskate, but she's a kid, so I guess I'll hold back on her. Okay, we're gonna... I'm gonna go 360 for that. Fine, let's try. I'll sell it to you at 330. Okay. Kyle did not go above 120. Okay, 330. That's good enough. Okay, I have to sell it, G. <laughs> I have to sell it. Oh man, I kind of have to be nice to him. <laughs> He's broke. <laughs> I kind of have to be nice to him. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Louie. <laughs> no, I actually have to be nice. Oh, um, okay. Uh, I can't sell it too high. He's he's rip him off. He's he's currently the brokest customer. I can't rip him off. Oh god, okay. I'll try... Um, what if I go 270? Oh man, I'll try 270. Oi, oi. Okay, fine. Yeah, he's too broke. I have to, I have to cut him some slack. 
I have to cut him some slack, Chad. He's broke. <laughs> He's currently broke. You buy your stuff with the money you help the bird. <laughs> oh man. He's too broke. My poor man is broke. Okay. Uh, I'll put the candy in. Oh man, he we literally just gave him money. He's already spending it. I think this man must just have a problem with money. I think that's his problem. Actually, no, slime fluid. I don't think slime fluid is gonna. I'll put the 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 the. the. Oh, there's slime fluid here. I don't think a lot of people are gonna buy this, but. I only got this gloves I've been looking for. I can't afford to stay at the inn anymore, but it's worth it. <laughs> no, I kind of need the long sword for Louis, so I can't sell it because he needs to have a decent weapon. Maybe his dad wanted to be a hero too. <laughs> no, poor boy. Okay, we'll see what we can sell. Okay, this is an adult. I'm pretty sure he can pay more. Okay, Warren Sword. I don't think I can get much from this. We'll, we'll go for 20. Maybe 25. 250. Okay, okay. That worked, that worked. 250. I mean, it's a Warren Sword. I don't think you can get a lot of money out of that. Distrust anyone that actively wants slime fluid. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Okay, he wants some candy. Uh, 300... Can I go for a 26 percent? I saw for 380. Okay, he actually got it. He actually wanted it. I think adults are, you know, way easier to knit. No! No! Stop coming back! Stop it! <laughs> no, he's buying food! No, the poor boy. After after he bought the glove, he he just didn't have any food anymore. Man wants he some chocolate. There he goes again. <laughs> He's going to be broke soon. He's already broke. My poor man. Buying the most expensive food. Ooh, <laughs> feel bad. Oh man, uh, I'm sorry. Oh god, god, what do I do? What do I do? Louis, stop! Someone stop this man. Okay, maybe I'll give it 630. 630, please. Louis, I can't go lower than that. I'm sorry. That's 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 that's, that's all I can do. Huh? Listen, Louis, I have a business to run! And maybe this is better for you. <laughs> Louis, please! 620. That, that's all I can do. I can't do more than that. I can't do less. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do... I can't do more. I feel like I just ripped him off. <laughs> I went from 630 to 620. I'm pretty sure that's just... That's just ripping him off. That's just ripping him off. <laughs> no, he's broke. Oh, no. <laughs> My poor boy! Oh god... Oh, he's... He's gotta... Hey, I don't think he can pay for an inn. He's probably sleeping outside the store. He's broke, alright? You broke it. <laughs> he was already broke. Louis is a good soul. Dumb as a box. As a box of hair, but a good soul. <laughs> Oh, he couldn't even afford dinner when you met him. Now you're charging him more for the chocolate that he found. <laughs> I'm sorry, Louis. I have to pay debt. Oh, man. If he comes in one more time... Oh, no. I really hope he doesn't. Oh, no. Dude sleeping in the bar and using hay bales as blankets. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, to make a schedule to ensure you're working in an effective manner to pay back the debt. Schedule management? Oh, I see. Quiet. First, I've broken up the day into four time periods. Morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Okay, okay, okay. 
Why the expensive chocolate? The chocolate is just worth that much. It's kind of like the finer chocolate, you know? <laughs> That's why. But my man just really went for the chocolate. I'm pretty sure he could have bought something else. That was not the chocolate. He spent his rent money on chocolate. <laughs> no, not the rent money. <laughs> my poor boy. Oh, man. I feel really bad. Listen, he bought the glove and he bought the chocolate. They're, they're kind of... Those things are kind of pricey. Oh, man. Who can buy food at the gloves and sword store? Clearly Louie. Clearly my man Louie. Indeed, I thought I would be able to keep your attention if I made it. Rather, similar to some sort of sweet food. So, there's some morning slides the afternoon. I'm getting hungry. He's gonna be using his tears to make a house. <laughs> no! I feel bad! <laughs> but I need to... I need to sell. I, I'm in debt, But I feel bad. <laughs> oh my god. The poor boy. Okay, when night ends, you need to get to bed. Trying to run the shop while sleep deprived is unpleasant, so... I'll say I'll close up when it gets late. So, you essentially have two options from each for each slide. You can open the store for a time or go about town on business. You cannot do both at once, so decide in advance what you need to do. Be clear, opening the shop will consume a slice. Okay, so time management in other words. And returning to the store after going out regardless of what you actually do will also consume a slice. Well, what if I go to like the plaza and then go to the chapel? You can get around town easily enough to avoid consuming a slice with each move. Only when you return to the store will the clock advance. Oh, okay. So when we are when we are outside, we can go to a variety of places. And it will only consume one slice as long as we don't come back to the store. So in that case, I should do a lot when I leave the shop. Mm -hmm. You know, Louie can't buy the sword if you don't have it on the shop. <laughs> uh, this is for his own good, I think. I feel like he would actually buy it. He'll probably take a loan from the bank and try to buy it. <laughs> oh no, he's going to end up in more debt than me at this point. There's another vital element, leaving town altogether. Visiting a dungeon will consume two slices. Oh, okay, so the dungeon consumes way more. It will? It takes that long? But if I go in the morning, I'll get back in the evening. That is precisely how it works. Thus, you can only leave for a dungeon at an early point in the day. Hmm. <laughs> My poor man. I feel so bad for Louis. <laughs> if it is night or you have done something else that evening, you cannot go. Hmm, okay. So I should probably take at least a day to go to the dungeons. If I am, like, low on items. Because if I did go, I'll get back real late, right? Exactly. Not only would you and all your adventurer companions would stay out so late, you would also be dead on your feet. Okay, okay. I got it. I got Aww. it. Man, this is a lot to wrap my head around. You'll get used to it, I'm sure. There is no other way. You just have to get used to it. Before you know it, you'll be thinking about it naturally. You think so? I mean, do you really have a choice? Well, it helps that you'll always be able to see how much time a particular action will consume. Simply pay attention to the clock. Okay, okay. Gotta keep track of the time. That is everything. If you ever want to go over this again, simply ask me when we are in the shop. I'll be glad to go over it as often as you need. Okay. Ah, uh, well, we can't really run the shop right now, can we? Actually, how many items do I have left? Uh, we have a couple. I would try to sell at least one more thing. And then I'll just go to town and look around. Let's see, what can I actually... Maybe... Hmm, this is 500, so I think it'll be good to sell that thing. Okay, look, try... No, he's back! I saw him, I saw him enter the store. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, the muffler. Oh, this is not really worth that much, so I guess I can... Oh, she's a kid. She's probably not gonna want to pay much. Uh oh, he's back. I hope he doesn't try to buy anything. Oh, uh, your worst customer. Uh, the kid. Uh, 120. 
What? No, no, get out of here. Oh my god. Yeah, get out of here, kid. I don't need you. She always complains. I know. She's such a pain. No, it's the kid being unreasonable. Okay. Okay, yeah, I, I can I can negotiate with this man a bit more. Let's try 80. Okay, if that's a bit too much, we're gonna go with... 63. Tower refused to buy anything near 120%. Remember, 100% is the base price. It's just 20% above. So, I'm pretty sure it's the kid being unreasonable. Okay, 63. Okay, okay. I'll take that. It's, a, it's an old muffler, so... I don't think a lot of people... No, Louie! Get out of here! You literally have one of these! You have an identical sword to this one! And he's buying another one? I, uh, some, somebody... Somebody take his wallet. He, he needs to not be allowed to have money. <laughs> not enough! No, he's gotta go broke even more! No, he ate that one! No! Oh my god. He's dual wielding. <laughs> oh, he needs a magic sword. Oh god. Okay, what about 260? Oh, okay, fine. I'll go 250. I literally just went like 10 lower. Louie has some self control. Oh my god. Louie, please! God. He's a sword collector. He can't afford to be a sword collector. Someone needs to stop this man. Well then, you seem to have developed a basic understanding of how to sell things to people and not drive them to burn the shop in anger. I mean, I can't sell things to that kid. That one girl. It's impossible to negotiate with her. She wants me to go even lower. It's ridiculous. Pepperoni, easiest pie. Being a truly great store owner involves more than selling things, however. There are times when people will want to sell items to you. Ah, yes. 115 for the kid? Ah, uh, I feel like it'll... She won't even accept that, I feel. Really? I suspect we'll begin to get such offers soon. Oh, okay. So now we gotta... We gotta buy Lil. I already buy stuff from the guild in the market. So why should I worry about buying stuff from the customers? There is one major difference between a guild or a market purchase and a purchase from an individual. Individuals do not have set prices, in other words. Yeah. In other words, individuals, you can negotiate a bit more. He's ready for anything except financial stability. <laughs> no. My poor boy. I feel so bad. No. Oh, no. She won't out first, but sometimes when you insist, she might. Mmm. She's a tough customer, huh? Oh, so I can get stuff really cheap? Well, that seems like it'll be pretty hard. Just do the puppy eyes. Reset, you're a kid. You just gotta do the puppy eyes. I'm pretty sure that will work. Fundamentally, buying and selling are not that different. The customer shows you an item they wish to sell, and then you set a price and perhaps negotiate. Obviously, you wish to pay less than the base price. Yeah, you gotta... You gotta buy... Buy low, sell high. Okay, so buy low, sell... Here, right? Yes, so. That is the very core of a su successful business. Who needs shelter when you got chocolate? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. That's pretty much Louie. Who needs shelter when you got chocolate? And another rusty sword, am I right? Oh... Oh, God. The fundamental procedure is the same as when selling. hi yo. Welcome to Reseteer! Would you buy this for me? Um, okay. I need to name a price lower than the base, so I uh, think... Press down. Come on, me. You can do this. Two swords and a glove is more than enough to make a house. <laughs> Two swords, a glove, and a bar of chocolate. Clearly. Okay, let's try going... 
How about 600? Excellent, that's a good price level. Hey, let's go. Now then, let's practice haggling over the price a little. The concept is essentially the same as selling something. Now that you offer the price, you believe to be fair. Adjust your offer until they agree to sell it to you. He eats so hard. I'm pretty sure that is not safe. Could you offer me a little more? I think it's worth a lot. Uh, okay. Okay, fine. 630. Yes, between 50 and 70% of the base is a good target. You will get an item to sell without giving up too much money. And that is essentially how it goes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> Louie. Poor Louie. At this point, I think his depth is gonna be higher than mine. Never seen that magic trick where a guy sells a whole store. <laughs> oh, no. Poor, poor guy. I hope he gets out of depth soon, but at this rate, I'm starting to doubt it. Also, where's the logistics of this world? That two swords worth less than <laughs> one piece of chocolate. I mean, to be fair, they were rusty, so... Okay, what would you be willing to pay for this? Okay, we're gonna go with... Uh, I'm gonna offer you 150 for it. There you go. You're gonna buy the sword we just bought from you and then sell it to him again. <laughs> oh my god. That is so mean. But to be fair, I think he's capable of just showing up here and just trying to sell me the sword that he just bought from me. And then five minutes later, he'll come back and buy it again. <laughs> that would be so bad, but it would be really funny. <laughs> It'll be really funny, but it'll, I'll feel really bad. <laughs> 150 cents, nah. It's, uh, Pix is the currency in this game. It's not cents. I don't know how, if there are any cents in this game. Okay, unthankful statue. Why does it look like it melted? Okay, so... Let's see. I will pay you... Oh, uh, should give you 70 for it. Okay, there you go. Can fingerprints? Yes, Louis, it was yours. Now, two times the price. Oh, no. Poor boy. I'm so sorry, Louis. How do I go back to my house? I don't think I can go back to my house, can I? Do I just, like, open the shop forever? Nope. Oh, I haven't saved at all. I just realized that. <laughs> I just realized I haven't really saved. There you go. Oh, poor Louie. Hey, can I go? It looks like nobody's here. What do you mean there's nobody at the pub in the middle of the night? That would have sucked. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think I can go home, can I? I'm square. What, there's no nightlife in here? Okay, it wasn't fully nighttime yet. But I guess I just wasted enough nighttime. I sold a lot of things. The store is your home. That is true, but I couldn't actually go to sleep. Where are the party at? Apparently, there's no nightlife in this place. Everybody just like goes to bed? Like nobody's at the pub at the night during the night? That is so weird. Uh, how many what items do I have? Maybe we'll show up later as the story progresses. Hmm. I actually wanna go and buy some things. Wait, the chapel. Say dear, you came from a finance company, right? What on earth a Yes, that is right. I work for Term Finance. Yeah? So, you're employed by them, right? What's it like? What's it like working with, you know, other... finance-related individuals? Um, no, that is not quite accurate. I was contracted to Term through another organization. Oh, these are random events. Oh, I see. Thus, I'm not really an employee, per se. So, you're just contracted? I'm surprised you seem so... It is not that surprising. Almost all fairies in human society belong to a fairy specific contract agency. Ah, I see. So that's how it works in this world. There are, of 
course, a few free agent fairies out there as well, and... So that's how it works! Uh, yes, to tell the truth, it can be difficult for fairies to find employment in human society. Oh my god, she's going all loud on this. So the agencies were founded an age ago in order to help facilitate fairy livelihoods. Ah, fairies have it rough, huh? That's amazing! What? I see. I'm pretty sure she understood, like, only 50% of that. <laughs> okay, what do they have at the Merchant's Guild? Oh, 840, Rusty Dagger, Crafter's Knife. I could buy a wooden bow, that's too easy. I'm gonna take... Another glove! I'll take another one. Ooh, those are good. Raincoat, that's good. No, that's good for now. We'll take that. Wait, there's an event at the town square. Hmm, I love being able to relax in the plaza like this. You never seem to have trouble relaxing, even when we're not in the plaza. Let her relax, she's a kid. <laughs> well, it's healthy, right? She's so wholesome. Protect, protect Reset. Okay, time for business. Okay, we're going to... Actually... I don't think the slime fluid is gonna sell at all, so... We're going to put our trusty glove. I'm gonna take the slime fluid. We're gonna put a... An outfit there. We're going to put over here... Mm. Wooden bow, since I have nobody that can use it. And... What else? I kind of want to keep the longsword for Louie, actually. So I think... I don't want to... Uh, should I sell it to him? I feel he's gonna go even more broke. Maybe this is for... Mm, you know what? Maybe he won't buy it. Maybe he won't buy it. I think he's gonna buy it. And we're gonna sell the souvenir charm. There you go. You need to sell it to Louie? I know. Oh no, it's the kid again. Oh, she wants the bread. Wait. Oh no, she wants to sell me the bread. <laughs> nah, no, no. I, I know she won't accept that. Okay, kid. Tough crowd. Okay, we're going to... I'm gonna give you 50 for it. <laughs> He's smelling that sore from far away. Give her one gold. <laughs> Uh, she will make a real fuzz if I give her one gold. She'll be like, no! It's worth much more! Oh no, he's back. He's gonna go for the sword. I'm calling it. Place your bets. He's gonna try to buy the long sword. Oh, he actually... Another club? I mean, he needed the other one. He needed the pair. <laughs> he needed the pair for the other club. <laughs> okay, Lily. Okay, let's... I'll give it to you. Two... Uh, Two fifty. Huh? Oh my god, Lily. Fine. Two forty. Two forty. This to your right gloves. <laughs> he wants the other one. Yeah, he wants the matching pair. Housewives and children are the most difficult. Yeah. I'm sure we'll... Children and the old guy. Oh, speaking of him, there he is. But just sell this to me. Okay, he wants a new outfit. Okay, I'll give you... I do 126? 127? Oh my god, fine. 125. Okay. <laughs> No way he rejects 125%. He's really tough to haggle with. Like, boy. It's really annoying to deal with. Oh, he's back. I can't sell that low. <laughs> I can't sell that low. Okay, let's... Uh, okay, this is where... It... No, he's not gonna go... He's not gonna want 800. I know he's gonna make such a fuss about this. What about 700? Will he take 700? He bought it! 125%. It seems like 125% is his good spot. What about 694? Fine. 
692. Yeah, 125. It seems to be his good spot. He won't take anything more than that. Hey, we sold things. We got sales. I might need to go to the dungeon and sell things. Since nobody wants to buy the slime fluid. What am I gonna do with this? Do a gold less. <laughs> Hey, it worked! Wh whatever works, am I right? Okay, so we're gonna try to sell... Probably the wooden shield. Now I can put... I mean, bread seems to apparently appeal to a lot of people. I'll go to the dungeon up during the morning, since I don't think I can go to the dungeon. Wait, can I go to the dungeon right now? Actually, no. Can't you craft stuff with slime or something? I think I'm too low level, and I? I think I need to be slightly higher level for that? Try opening the store one more time and then visiting... Uh, the guild. Oh god, he's bad. Your fourth window slot, you kept skipping on the left. Oh, I keep forgetting about that one since it, since it's darkened. And I keep thinking I can't use it. Oh, nope, he's back. The boy's back. He's back again. He's hungry. Oh no. The poor boy is hungry. Okay, I'll do 127. How about that? Okay, 125. That's literally two gold. That's literally only two less, Louie. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, God. If Louis got to starve, he is gonna starve. Oh, no, the kids again. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of money. That is expensive. Candy apples are so expensive. What even? Okay, 50% of that. Look, he's running a tight budget. Yeah, and he keeps spending his money, so it's not really helping his case, is it? Okay, this girl is really tough to deal with. So I'm going to go... What about 40? No. I go below 50? Uh, that's a lot of money. No. Can I go 45%? Is she gonna get mad about that? That's the real question. It's about the percentage. Yeah, 45%. What about that? No, it's too low for that. Wait, what if I go 49%? Little girl actually trying to rip you off. I know. This is so expensive. What even? A thousand gold? No way. I'm paying that. What about 783? Okay, that's 48%. That is more than I honestly would have liked to pay, but, uh, fine. I thought Louis was gonna come back again for a second. That's one expensive candy apple. Yeah, it's really pricey. Okay, he's looking for this, so... We're going to increase it to... What about 390? Do you think you'll buy that? Oh, 390. Okay, yeah. 30% is good for him. Okay, this man only accepts 25% above price. So... We can't really go above 25% with this guy. That's just what it is. What is this? Price in yen? I don't think so. I don't know if uh, picks are a fantasy currency or they're based in like a real life currency. The man is the easiest to charge a lot. Yeah, the adult man is the easiest to charge a lot. The old guy is on medium terms. The little girl is a pain. What? 20, about 25% is... Okay, 20? Okay, 20% is good with him. Okay, so 20% the old man. 25%? Who was 25%? I need money, so I need to sell that. I need to sell the candy apple. I need the money. I'm too broke. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Do I have anything? I guess I could sell this. And... Put the cape in here? I don't think I can go to 
the dungeons at this time. Because it's kind of late, so we need to go early in the morning. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll just have to do it. Oh, there he is. Okay. I can charge him more. What if I go 50? Is he gonna tell me that it's too much? Yeah, old man, we can't really go too high. I think 20% is enough for the old man. Yeah, it might be too much. I think 50% is too much. Uh, what about 30? 35. I'll try 35. Okay, fine. 30. Okay, there you go. Yeah, 30. I can't go above 30. 35 is too much. Hey, we sold a lot of things, actually. I think he peaks at 30. Yeah, he might actually peak at 30. There you go. We got some profit. Okay, we gotta go to the dungeon. We actually have to go to the dungeon. We're running low on things. So we're gonna go... Ooh, there's an event on the town square, though. We're gonna go do that first. Oh, no, it's Louie. <laughs> Yes! No! Yes, no. Maybe. Huh? That's Lily! What in the name of heaven is he searching for over there? Probably some money, some food, some shelter, maybe. I don't know anything at this point. Hey, let's go ask! Why do I get the feeling that I would much rather not get involved? Listen, we already ripped him off a lot of times. I think we deserve to, you know, kind of... Try to make him feel at least a little bit better, I guess. Oh, he's dead. Wooly, <laughs> hello! Oh, Reset, here. what's up? What are you doing wandering around here? Uh, well, I got hungry, so I decided to take a look and see if I could find some edible grasses or herbs or something. I was hoping I was not right when I said he was looking for food. <laughs> but... The fact that I'm right doesn't make me feel any better. <sighs> oh, no. Why does this not surprise me in the slightest? I mean, we're talking about the guy that literally just went here and bought another sword identical to the one he had. At least he isn't digging in the trash cans. Yet. I hate selling equipment to Louis to upgrade him. He's too broke to afford base prize. I know. It makes me feel bad. Because he can't really afford, like, the good stuff. You gotta... You kinda have to undersell it to him. But, uh, I'm not sure which of these are edible, you see. Louis, if you eat that, you'll blow up your stomach. You can eat those, but they taste best if you clean them. Now, the plants with the south leaves at the east at end of the plaza? Those taste the best. You should try them. How does she know this information? How is it that you know so much about edible plants? Especially ones located here of all places. Bro should try boiling tree bark in water. That's good for eating. No! <laughs> Poor guy! When someone tells Louie to touch grass... <laughs> oh, she's broke too. Yeah, considering, you know, she's in dub. Thanks to her dad. Thanks a ton, Reset. I owe you again! No, no, please. Don't owe anything else to us. No problem. Remember to wash what you find. <laughs> no. Why do I feel as though that is the least of his concerns? Um, he probably has a lot of concerns. Way too many to list. Louis doesn't just touch the grass. He consumes the grass. Honestly, yeah, he probably consumes it. Okay, so he has a worn sword, leather armor... He probably needs better things. Okay, wait... I wanna change his equipment, though. Can I give him the raincoat? Oh, can I not change his equipment right now? I want to change what he's wearing. I wanted to give him the raincoat. Oh, he can't use it, actually. Oh, he can't use it. I think he might be too under level. I we don't have any food. We sold the bread. Okay, we're gonna have to buy bread because uh, he's gonna need it. Okay, 
Where is the... Oh! We can sell books. And I think they sell for a decent price? You can let him borrow things from your shop, but for permanent upgrades, you need to sell it to him. Yeah, but I was wondering if I could equip it. Like... Or if I have to go into the dungeon to equip it. So we're gonna take these. Just so he has, like, some healing items with him. Uh, oh, yeah, I left the long sword at the store. That's going to consume some energy. Ah, uh, that's a problem. Oh, well. What's a little bit of energy? Uh, I'm going to leave... Ah, uh, I will leave this time. And I'll take the long sword. Okay, we're going to the adventure guild. Wait, I can't go back? Is there a lot? Oh, wait, there you go. Let me go, there. I do want to bring the long sword, so... And we're going to... Also bring this, because he needs to equip that. And we're bringing the healing items, naturally. There you go. That should be good enough for him. Yeah, seems like we... Uh, pick the items you wish to bring with you. Okay, yeah, I think he needs to equip these in the dungeon. Ah, uh, what about if we go this way? Jade way. Oh, it's a different dungeon. Yes. The sweet consumption halved. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Come on, Louie, you can do this. Do it for the money that you honestly really need. And please don't spend the money at my store. It's not a good place to spend it at. Oh boy, the poor guy. Uh, I guess I'll take the slime fluid. <laughs> He keeps spending the money that I give him. I literally pay him, he spends it again. Oh, man. And he's your best customer. He's broke. I don't think he's my best customer. I don't know if he's my best customer if he's broke. He makes me feel bad. Oh, oh, what are those? Are those sardines? Huh. Yeah. What is this? Unthankful statue. Wait. Louis! Louis! I don't know if... Was that tuna? I couldn't see what it was. Best customer and best employee <laughs> No! I think the, the tuna are gone. Random middle-aged man, Louis. <laughs> oh, poor Louis. Oh, wait. Oh, that was a debuff! Oh, man, that was a debuff. That is unfortunate. I thought it was actually gonna be something good. I didn't know you could actually get debuffs from the treasure chests. Oh, come here. Come at me. Wait. Oh, I thought it was an item. It was just another enemy. He's leveling up. He's slowly becoming stronger. Wait. There's still something over on this side. We might actually find something good. Yeah. Wait, are those snow bunnies? Stop! Moving away! I need the experience. I need Louis to level up. This be something good? This is... Summer sandals. Hey, we can sell that. I'm pretty sure we'll have some uh, interested people in summer sandals. Wait, do those things have poison? Oh, I think those things are poisonous. That's not good. <laughs> We can do this. It'll be fine. You'll be... Is that a mosquito? Yeah. I think that was a mosquito. Well, it's what? gone now. No okay. need to worry about that. Come on, Louie. I believe. Run! Not what? a mosquito. Yeah. Oh, treasure chest. Be something good. What? Oh, it's a teleport yeah. trap. Yeah. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah. I don't appreciate what? those. Come here. Mount me. Ooh, bracelet. <laughs> Never mind. Special inkwell. I thought it was a bracelet. Yeah. Oh, come at me. Come at me. Yeah. Man, chocolate dropped. Wait, there was a chocolate? I didn't see it. Yeah. Was there actually chocolate? That's a purple. No, 
know what kind of look with chest is this? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Up to the T. Also here. Yeah. Didn't see it because I got teleported. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I got teleported, so I didn't see it. These bunnies are ruthless. Yeah, the snow bunnies are pretty ruthless. Yeah. And more sandals. I'm gonna become a sandal store yeah. at this point. We went from a bread and glove store to just a sandal store. Where is the teleporter? Am I missing a... Oh, I know what I'm... I already saw that we were missing to go down over at the T. Another chocolate to sell to Louie during Valentine's. No! Oh, poor guy. Poor, poor guy. Oh, there it is. There's the next floor. Moving up in the world. Oh my god, poor Louis. Treasure chest? Wait. Oh, it's a bomb, it's a bomb, it's a bomb, it's a bomb. <laughs> I was like, what is that? I didn't see anything and then I just saw the bomb. <laughs> oh, what are, what are the odds that we just get a bomb from a treasure chest? Please? Not a bomb. Okay, it's a shield. That's good. Shields are good. No bombs. Nothing that explodes. Okay, anything else around here? No, just this weird curse. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I didn't notice he didn't have any SP. I thought he actually had more SP. Oh, no, poor Louie. There's a lot of shrooms in this area, huh? Oh, golden shroom. Oh, it's a water shroom. Never mind. I thought it was a golden one. Anything else here? Yeah. More slimes. Okay, yep. We saw everything in this area, I believe. Wait, never mind. I think there might be something up north? Or... I don't think so, actually. I think we already saw everything. Water shroom plus four. I wonder if people actually buy that. Or is it just like another thing for fusion? There's a lot of mosquitoes. Oh, no. Not mosquitoes. Nope. Dead end. Okay, yeah. We saw everything. Real interesting luck with chest. Yeah, I got teleported. I got a bomb. Oh my god, I'm getting eaten up by these guys. Clearly, we got some uh, interesting luck with the chests. Some summer sandals, like twice. People sometimes buy it. Really? Okay, see ya, Toby Media. Uh oh. Oh no. Maybe? We're leveling up pretty fast, so I think that's good. Oh, okay. We ran out of space. Um... I feel like the unthankful statues don't even sell for that much. But... I might just throw away the slime fluid, to be honest. Because you never know, with the secret ingredients, it might get something good. Yeah. So... Who knows? We might actually get something yeah. good, or we might just get something that's not worth it. It can go either way. Oh! Oh my god. I didn't know that was a thing. Good to know, I guess. Oh, right. I can't carry anything more. Wait, I'm trying to get rid of the shroom that's running around it. Rocks fall, everyone dies. Apparently, not everybody died, so... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of the unthankful statue. It's not really worth that much, anyway. Yeah. Oh, right. I need more... ...space. Yeah, I think we're just gonna eat the candy. Eat it. Okay, that should... ...give me... Ooh! Golden pedestal. That must be worth... ...a lot more. I don't know if people will be willing to. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That's a lot of slimes. Okay, we got rid of most of them. We got a shark fin. I'm gonna eat this apple that was on the floor for 17 seconds. Okay, I need the candy. I don't want to waste the apple yet because we still have more XP. Oh, I don't have more candy. We're gonna have to eat one of the apples. Oh well. It is what it is. I need the shark fin. Stop yeah. running. Oh, yeah. 
Lily, you miss. Yeah. I want to know what this is. Hmm. We're gonna have to keep throwing away things. No one, fine. You can't recover. Oh, that's an issue. Okay, fine. I guess I'll have to get rid of the slime fluid. Uh, fine. Slime fluid it is. It will just be this late. <laughs> also, for three days before the first loan payment, you need 10k until then. Oh, I think I barely have 3k. We're not doing very good for the first loan payment. Is there no way to get more inventory room? I wonder if maybe you can upgrade? Maybe you can buy a bigger bag? I'm not... Oh, the flying tuna. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, I don't think Louie is doing very Daedra boot. I wonder if there's a way to get more inventory space? Because it is very limiting. Considering how much, you know... How many floors the dungeons tend to have. It's just the flying tuna. Fish Louie, look, dinner. <laughs> Oh my god. I can imagine him actually try to eat one of those. We just like jump at them and try to take a bite. No. <laughs> the fact that I could actually see him doing that. Oh. Wait. Okay, I got rid of that guy. I should be able to at least use one of the... Bread? Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, now I can actually open this. Oh, it's another one of those. Nah. I'm tossing this away. These are hardly any valuable anyway, so... We're just gonna throw that away. I wanna get the secret ingredient. It might just be more bread, but you know. Take the egg toast? Wait, there was egg toast? I don't see any egg toast. I don't know if it was left lying somewhere else. Is there something else in here? Oh, yeah. this thing is... <laughs> Wait, was it the slime? Or was it the... The weird creature? Okay, I think we got everything there is here. Oh, oh, god. Nope, 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 nope. That was... That was a dead end. I was not good. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't think there's anything good here. There's slime fluid. Nah. I don't really need slime fluid. Oh, Ectos! Yeah. Fine. Uh, we don't have space. That's not good. Uh, how much is the furball? Can I toss that? That's 110. Are we taking a beating for that buddy? Uh, what's something cheap I can get rid of? Okay, yeah, they don't say the prize. I guess I can eat the apple. Straight away. I need the egg toast. And I really don't want Louie to eat it, because I can probably just sell it. Just eat something. I wanted to avoid eating it. Oh, yep. There's a boss in here. Yeah, there's it. Oh, Louie. Oh, oh, there goes his special. Oh, Louie. Oh, Louie. You didn't do this. Oh, no, that is... Oh, I need to get rid of the baby slimes. I... Yeah, I definitely need to get rid of the baby ones. Bloodly. Okay, nope, nope. Get rid of the baby ones. Okay. Oh, that is... That's a lot of damage. Oh my, I might not make it. I need to separate the baby ones from him. Okay. Oh, I need to separate the baby ones. Okay. That's a lot of damage. It really is a lot of damage. Ah, that's not good, that's not good. Um... Yeah, I ran out of healing items. Oh, this is gonna hurt my soul. This is gonna hurt my soul, but I might have to do it. I might actually have to do it. There's no... Wait, water shrimps? Uh, does this heal anything? Eat the Ectos. Yeah, the Ectos... Okay, the Ectos will help a little bit. Oh, come on! <laughs> Oh my god! The baby slime spawned way too close to the big one. Okay. Stop spawning so close to him! Come on, come on, come on! I need to get rid of these. What? Almost there! Oh my god! Okay. 
Oh, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. Yes! I got him! Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> Three HP in a dream. Oh my god, so close. Yeah. Truly a clutch. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> yeah, so getting out of here. <laughs> oh, that truly was such a clutch. But we made it. That's all that matters. We survived. Oh, someone's at the pub. We lived. Oh. What is it? Say it here. Is alcohol yummy? Or set, sweetie. You're, you're 10. Please. No. I have only tried it once before. Myself. Really? Wow, you're such a grown up, dear. I hated it. It stank of barrels. Barrels? Typically, most alcoholic beverages are left to eat in barrels. Isn't that only the case for wine, though? So the drink had a strong wooden smell, and it was not dissimilar to attempting to drink a tree. Okay, that doesn't sound yummy at all. To be honest, the popularity of the substance baffles me. I thought the whole leaving it to age is only like a wine thing, not a beer thing. It always sells well, so stocking it is always a good way to make some money, but... But barrels! Is that an Adelier reference? <laughs> I think that might be an Adelier reference. Barrels? Barrels. Indeed, barrels. Oh, I thought there was... Oh, okay. There's one at the town square. Burr! At night, the plaza is so quiet, it's almost scary! Oh, no, everything is fermented in barrels. Oh, I see. Indeed, it will be best to return home quite... To return home quickly. It is dangerous. It is a dangerous time for a girl to be wandering about. Oh. Right! A cute girl like me could end up in all kinds of peril! Oh, man, she's so precious. I do not recall saying anything about you being cute. Shush, dear. She's cute. Shush. She, she is cute. She's baby. You just want to protect her. <laughs> hey, well, don't sweat the small stuff. Come on, homeward. Hey, what are you kids doing out this late? Oh, even... A hoodlum. A hoodlum gonna steal my cuteness. Who is there? Show yourself. Oh, it's that guy. I'm down, you two. It's me. No need for alarm. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was about to call a... What's a gendarme? I don't know what that is. Not the cuteness. But an appearance like this. That's not unreasonable. Oh my god. <laughs> she literally just called him stranger danger to his face. Now that's just cruel. Oh, bro. Oh, poor guy. Legit just called him Stranger Danger. Okay, we get to sleep. We didn't really so much because we spent all the time going to the dungeon. So we are going to need to sell a bunch. Because, uh... We need to pay your dub, so... Okay. So definitely gonna try to sell... Ooh, that's too expensive. I don't think people will buy it. Summer sandals? Eh? Maybe the anti venom, I'll put it somewhere else. And we're going to put here. I know chocolate is something people really like. So maybe that? Oh, wait. Okay, for here, I'll put the long sword here. I might just take the rusted weapons because they're not going to give me a lot of money, so. I'm just going to put items that I can sell for much more. This like no one wants to help you with your dub. Going around calling people ugly. <laughs> She's a kid. She doesn't know any better. But still. Okay. Mm, I'll put the ring coat. Mm, rusty dagger 400 is good enough. Okay, we need to make some big sales. Because our dub date is getting closer, so... Oh no, it had to be the girl. I'm ready. Wait, she wants me to buy it? Oh, she wants... Oh, she wants to buy it herself. She says she's running an errand, so she wants to buy it. Okay. Uh... Okay, I guess... 
I think kid was twenty uh, percent, if I remember. So kid is a bit of a pain. So mm. what? Fourteen <laughs> percent. Such, such a pain. Hundred fifteen. Yeah, I think kid is hundred fifteen. Was he the one that was twenty? I think he's the one that was twenty. Or 25. He was 20 or 25. So, we're gonna go... For 24, maybe? Okay, there you go. Yeah, he bought it. He bought it. 125 to 120. Yeah, yeah. So that worked. Oh, he's back. Oh, he came to... 2000! I can't buy that! I have a debt to pay! Oh. I'm sorry, but I can't buy it. Yeah, I can't buy that. I'm gonna I'm gonna make him mad. Jeez. No. No. You won't buy it for a little more. I just gave him like ten more. He actually paid for it. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what is steel? No way! <laughs> Ten cents more, let's go! I mean, okay, I'll take that! Nice old man! <laughs> I'll play! I, I was honestly thinking he was gonna decline because that was my intention. I couldn't really buy it with my current money, so... Okay, so... For you... I'm gonna have to go... Probably... 15%. I'm gonna go 345. <laughs> okay, yeah. 345 is good. Yeah, the little girl is... No! <laughs> Louie! You can't even use bows! A oh, man can't even use bows. He's trying to buy a bow. Uh, oh boy. Alas, it is what it is. Your best customer. Oh man. Uh, I think he's okay. What about 25%? Fine. I'll give you 490. 490. Why am I ripping people off? <laughs> 500. That is too much. 490. Okay, that sounds good. Oh no! The, the profit. Hey, at least we got some profit! My god. <laughs> Truly ripping people off. Uh, I don't think he's assumed that in. No, no. That's not the impression that I get. I need to really sell this. It will be real good profit if we sell it. Okay, so wooden shield. People, would people buy it? I wonder. Let's try putting it. See if people buy it. Yeah, I do need to save. I haven't saved in a while. So, merchant level. There you go. And let's put maybe the wool hat here. The pop by the window, this? I don't know if people will buy it. It's too pricey. I mean, we could try and see if they buy it. Okay, anything else I can put? Maybe the cape over here. No, I think that looks good. Do you like yams? I've never tried them. I actually never had a baked yam before. So I don't know if they're good or not. Okay, we need to sell. We're gonna be break dancing to play Riz Rat next week. <laughs> oh, and that's the old man. Oh, he wants to buy it. Okay, I, I know he's a tough guy. Wait, I, I I scammed him last time, but I don't think I can scam him this time around. Yeah, I think a 15% will probably be... I'll try 17%, just to see how much tolerance um, I can get out of here. Okay, yeah, 70%. Apparently, Larry. Oh, level up. Oh, there he is. There's the man. 
are you selling him the same item you sold before? I mean, apparently he wanted it. This month is tight! No! Oh, no! Oh, this month is tight, but I really want that! If this month is tight, you're not supposed to do that! No! Stop this, man. Please stop it. A rusty dagger? Apparently. Apparently. Oh, no. Louis is so broke. He's so broke. Hey, okay. I'll, I'll do 500. If he says lower, I'll lower it like 490 or 480. Okay. Try 480. Oh, my God. Louis, please. I need someone to buy the gold thing. I need to pay the rent. This month is tight, he says, after coming to the store every day. <laughs> I wonder why this month is tight after that. Oh, God. The poor boy. The poor boy. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe that's why the month is tight. Okay, maybe 31%. No, I... Could I get away with that? No, I cannot get away with that. Okay, 450. There you go. That works. Okay. This one this time, but I really want that rusty dagger. <laughs> I really require it. Oh, God. There is one other matter, however. You cannot always be certain that a customer would know what they want when they come in. Oh, so I need to basically be chasing them around and being like, Oh, do you want this? Mmm, no. I'm gonna be that type of uh, sales person. Louis can only buy 10 swords a month. Then he should stop. They may come in thinking, what should I make for dinner? What would be a good weapon and so forth. They would not be quite sure what exactly they wish to purchase when they come through our door. Oh, she means people that are window shopping. And you're just gonna be like, hey, do you wanna, do you wanna buy this? In such a case, we must provide them with advice to help them decide. Okay, okay, I see. But wait, how could I do... Many customers will simply give up if they do not find something suitable for their needs on our counters. Others, however, will realize that we may have reserved stock. And will inquire as to whether or not we have something they seek. Oh, okay. I see. That is when you may suggest an item you think they would like. They never listen to the advice. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure there are, like, a few people that may listen, like, when they go window shopping, but... I don't know, I don't feel it's very common. In a sense, it is the ultimate chance to show your skill as an item shopkeeper. If you know what someone desires, you will very likely impress them and cause them to return. Okay. You can upsell them. Useful to upgrade gear. Hmm. Yeek, no pressure then. None at all. Well, let us give it a little practice, shall we? It is no different than a normal sale, really. Beyond the fact that you must choose the item to sell yourself. Hey, Kay! Welcome! Okay. I would like a sword, please. So, any of these okay as long as it's a sword? Ultimately, you must pick something the person would like. But I don't know them. By the way, if I may give you a little advice, if you sell weapons and armor to your adventurer friends, they'll equip the items you sell them. Mmm, yeah, that's what people are saying about selling the swords to Lily. Even though he keeps buying the worst swords instead of buying the good ones, but he's broke, so he can't buy the good ones. It's an endless cycle. <laughs> oh man, advice for Lily. Probably stop him from buying. I don't think I can do that. He keeps doing it anyway. Even when he doesn't have money, he probably takes a loan from the bank, which is not good. Because that means more depth. Meaning, of course, that if you say if you sell items to them, then we do not need to lend them any items at the start of a dungeon excursion. You plan to finish the game or is this a one-off? Honestly, I've been enjoying the game, so I might actually finish it. I don't know, what do you guys think? I honestly think this is a really fun game, so I might actually finish it on stream. Even if an adventurer must retreat while in a dungeon, the equipment is not lost since it is their possession. So selling better equipment to our adventuring friends is a good idea. Even if you must undersell them a little. Uh, yeah. I guess we're gonna have to undersell them quite a bit. Yeah. I don't know. I want to see Louis becomes a hero or a beggar. <laughs> oh, God. 
Oh, he's probably gonna become a beggar. Will you sell what to and what effect it may have on their performance? Okay, okay. Oh, I hope I can keep track of all of this. If you look at the details of an item when selling to one of our venturing friends, you can also check what that person currently has. Louis, any 80% sword. It's <laughs> just swords. He just collects them. He probably just displays them in his little bench at the park. I don't know. Now then, we should continue. Affirmate our femardification. What does that even mean? I would like a sword, please. Okay, I will give you the long sword. Okay, I'll ask for an item, tell me what I asked for, and you'll pass. Let us begin. Okay. So... She wants a weapon. However... Okay, so only a weapon. Okay, okay. Affirmativeication. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Uh, give you a hundred... I'm gonna ask for a hundred and... Okay, there you go. Pretty sure that's not a word. Yeah, it doesn't really sound like a word. It's nicely done. Once more then. Okay. You got it. Okay. Can I just sell her the same weapon? Yeah, I can just sell her the we the same weapon. She's just trying to get me to learn the mechanics. Okay, so for this... I, I, I gave her a... This prize. Oh, she won slower. Fine. <laughs> the fact that you can scam them by going 10... Like, 10 cents lower is kind of funny, not gonna lie. <laughs> this golden pot is perfect for bonking people. Oh, God. <laughs> Fantastic, you're, uh, you're ready for everything now. If you ever wish to practice this again, simply ask. Oh, boy. I still can't believe that I kind of scammed the guy with the yam. Because honestly, I was hoping he would set he would say no. It was worth two thousand. I bought it for like six hundred. That is so low. <laughs> but hey, if it if it works, if it works, what can you do? Oh, I don't really have a lot of items anymore. Oh, I have chestnuts. I could sell the ink. Actually, I might wanna. Oh, the shark fins are valuable. Yeah, we kind of want them to buy that. Yeah, I'm going see if you get it right the first time since you get combo bonus. Mm, that makes sense, yeah. Uh, none of these are very... Wait. The slime liver? I mean, if they buy it, they'll be really good. But I don't... I don't know if they'll buy that. Other people's paid is your financial game. <laughs> oh my god. No, uh, put this here. I don't think they will buy the slime liver. The old man probably doesn't know how much his homegrown yam goes for and he has amnesia about selling it to you. <laughs> oh no, poor guy. Oh, he's back. My man Louis is back. Okay. Oh, his defense will go higher. Yeah. I do need his defense to go higher. Okay. Still... I'll do 318 for that. Okay, fine. I will do 315 for that. It's hardly any difference, but chile. Oh, no, it's the girl. I know he buys something he can actually use. About time. I mean, at least he bought something that'll be useful for him, which is, you know, good. Okay, so go for this. I need to go even lower. Uh, I hate the fact that this is not gonna be good. Oh wait, no. I need to go above base fries. It's going below. Okay, so I think we're only gonna be able to get 350 land from her. Unfortunately, she's a hard bargain. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, she's such a pain in the butt. <laughs> oh, why is she back? She, she came back to buy the same thing. Oh my god. But I thought I could or I could bargain with her, but 115 seems like a very harsh. You saw that? I did 115. What? Okay, 142. 
What? You can't really go above 115. I did 115 and she denied it. <laughs> I think sometimes she even denies 115%. Oh, man. She's such a pain in the butt. Okay. Try. Okay, he bought it. He bought it. I'll take that. Oh, okay. I can pay. I can pay. I think it was 10,000, right? Yeah, I think we, we can pay, actually. Yeah, let's try to haggle. I usually just go 110% just to save the combo. Ah, man. Tough customer. Rent money is ready! We can pay rent! Let's go! We can afford this one! Let's go. We got this one. Oh, yeah. Well, this week, yeah. Not... Oh, he's bad. <laughs> Jackie Rich. <laughs> I'm barely making it to pay this week. I don't suppose you have a weapon. Oh, well. What about a long sword? You need a long sword. I need to do. I need to do lower because he could really benefit from a long sword. So I'll try going for a hundred. Maybe a hundred thirteen. I wish I had that kind of cash. Well, you would have it if you didn't spend it. Fine. A hundred. Oh my god, Louis! You're such a pain. <laughs> oh, no. I should have gone 110. Louis, no! You went away. Man, tough crowd. He could have really benefited from that, but he couldn't afford it. Uh, he couldn't afford it, so... I guess it makes sense. <laughs> I told you, gotta undersell him the good stuff. Uh, I guess, but we're too broke for that. We're too broke for underselling. Okay, so if they ask for something percentage, doesn't matter. They'll look at the solid value. Hmm... Wisconsin struggling to not be broke. Yes, I mean... You really, you really do be like that. I kind of want to get... You know, get rid of more inventory so I can just like go to the dungeon and get more. Okay, old man is here. I would like some food. Uh... I don't have any food. Oh, that's an issue. We might actually have to go outside. I don't have food. Um... The slime fluid count as food? I don't think it does, does it? I mean, it's on ingredients. Wait, shrooms are edible? For a chestnut? What about a chestnut? Will he take a chestnut? I don't know if he'll take a chestnut. Ah! I tried. We might actually need to go get a food. I thought he would take a chestnut. I mean, you can probably eat a chestnut if you try. <laughs> I mean, you chestnuts are edible enough. Probably, maybe. Wait, what about Tutsuani? <laughs> Blame Louis for eating everything. Yeah, he pretty much ate her entire supply. Oh. Not more food! Why does everybody want food today? Think of his old man deep. I mean, I could have given him the slime liver, but I don't think he will be into that. Man. Yeah, we do need to get food. We do need to get food. Let's get out of here. Okay. I think I'm gonna go buy at the market. Let's see. Ah! Ooh, Toyaki sells for quite high. So I could take two, buy one apple. Okay, that's good enough. And then I'm gonna go sell things. Guys, yo! Hi, Lily! You're actually. You're actually in the chapel. I'm shocked dumb. No more bread. Yeah, time to spend the red money. Yeah, we kind of need to spend the red money right now. Well, even I'm gonna be a little faithful every now and then. As I said, shrug dumb. Dear! I'm surprised too! Yeah, I was praying for heaven to provide me with lunch. And... This guy! Poor guy! No! He's so broke. Somehow I feel as though that is 
not the main purpose of a chapel. Oh. Oh, huh? you think so? <laughs> My poor guy. He's too broke. I feel bad. Oh, wait, who is this? Oh. Hey, Sizzly! Okay, but it's kind of his fault. He loves spending money. Yeah. He, he kind of has a problem with spending money. Oh, man. Wait, where'd she go? You walk so fast, laid up! Wait, come back! That girl! Yeah. Here, is something wrong? Ah, oh, no, it's nothing. Wait, does she know her? Oh, you were looking at those sisters! Hey, dear. How do you think people see us? Uh... I don't know. That's a good question. How do? Do you think we look like sisters? Um... No... Not really. Given that I am a fairy, I rather doubt it. Oh, right! Still, if we did, I'll be kinda happy. Aww... Cute. Really? Why is that? Well, since I'm bigger, I'll be the big sister, right? <laughs> That's such a childish reason, but I can kinda see it. You know, she is a kid, so of course she wants to be the... The, the big sister, the older one. Your logic, as always, is breathtaking in its fault in its faultiness. I mean, she's a kid. Cut her some slack. Yeah, I guess you would be the big sister, but that'd be really nice too, right, sis? Keep this nonsense up, and I'll leave you behind. Jeez. <laughs> oh my God, she's heartless. Yeah, again, she's ten. She's a kid, so. Hey, wait for me. Oh my God. Okay. We're definitely needing some food here. Here has been through a lot. I mean, she should cut Rissa some slack, you know? She's also been through quite a bit. Okay, I'm gonna put the taiyaki at the front. I need to sew more because I'm running out of money after I spend it on food. Of course he picks the expensive food. He doesn't ask me like, Hey, do you have food? No, he picks the, the expensive food. See, this is why he does not have money. Okay, we're gonna go for a solid 10%. Oh, God. Jeez, of course he has to go for the expensive food. Can he even afford that? Probably not. With a loan from the bank, maybe he can. I'm starting to think Louis may be a lost cause. Y yeah, but I'm starting to think he might be too. This is why he does not have any money. Okay, he wants the anti venom. <laughs> okay, so let's see if I can go above three. If I can go 30%. Okay, I'll go 27. Okay, that works. I'll take that. Okay, old man, sandals. Louis prime himbo material. <laughs> oh man. He's, a, he's just a little guy. You know, he's trying his best in the world. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about him. I don't know, man. He's he might be a bit of a lost cause at this point in time, but oh guy. I mean, maybe... No, I don't, I don't know if he's really gonna get out of depth at this point. Uh, store atmosphere, merchant level, tears, lectures. Oh boy, do I really want to listen to this? Uh, I should probably keep the food. Just in case. I don't know if the shrooms are really gonna sell, to be honest. Nah, you can you can fix him. Give a man twenty bucks and he'll live forever. I don't think that will work. He'll probably spend the twenty bucks in the next five minutes after I give him the twenty bucks. The man has a problem with money. That's the issue right now. I will just sell what I have right now. Man, see, see, see what I'm trying to talk about. Uh, scarf. Does a cape count? Uh, it was close enough, but I didn't have a scarf. He wanted something very specific. 
Yeah, I mean, at least I saved them. I saved them from spending. <laughs> because I didn't have a scarf. I had a cape, which, you know, technically you could use as a scarf if you try hard enough. Your best and most broke customer. Oh, boy. Oh, God, he really... He really is broke. You know what? I think a 10% is probably a safe bet with the housewives. Yeah, I think the housewives are probably a bit more on the limited side as the kids are. He actually wants the slime fluid. I actually never thought someone would buy it. Um... Yeah, I don't think a lot of people are gonna buy this, so honestly, just take it. Just take it, because not a lot of people are gonna buy it, so... You have a bracelet! Ah, this is a golden pedestal. Oh, I don't have one anymore! I used to have one, but... Yeah, I don't have one anymore. I have a necklace, but that's not what she wants. Yeah, no. Your first slime and here. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I don't have one. So... Uh, she's not gonna buy anything, but oh well. Can't believe you opened with half an empty shop as the merchant skill taught you nothing. <laughs> I mean, I needed to I needed to be sure that I got enough money. Yeah, housewives need to look out for their families, yet they keep on buying bracelets. <laughs> I mean, it truly do be that way. I mean, if they want really specific items, I can't really do much for them. Yeah, she's not gonna buy it. I'm just gonna go out and buy more things. Yeah. Oh, well. I got enough for this week anyway, so it should be good enough for the week. Oh, yeah, there you go. Good morning, we're set. Good morning. Incidentally. You are aware that today is the first day of collections. Yes, I know, but I got enough. It should be good. <laughs> eh, wait, as in pay up or we take your house collections? As in pay up or the house is mine. Yes. Come on. Give her a break. Uh, let's see. I have a calendar that I can check when I'm on break, don't I? Or in the main menu, I bet you'll say. Indeed, this is only the first week of collection. Oh, boy. So the amount to be paid is not severe... yet. However, the amount is scheduled to increase weekly. Pay up or lose your kneecaps. Ah. So keep that in mind and do not get lazy. The bill is due at the end of the day. So work as hard as you can today, yes? Hi. Affirmations! Okay, yeah, we do need to get more things. Ah, uh, let's see if the market has some bracelets. Okay, we have scarves. I'm gonna buy two. Uh, there's no rings. Uh, there may be people that want books, I feel, but... I'm gonna buy that once I have more things. Uh, the slime fluid doesn't even sell for that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, none, none of the things here sell for anything, so I don't think it's, like, even useful to sell. I think... Wait, I want to go to the town square before I go to the adventurer's guild. Ah! Hey now, hey now, what's wrong? Uh, no, no. Uh, my dolly! Oh, the shoulder's been ripped. This is my favorite. Hey, wait, can you give it to me for a second? Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see, I have a little thread and a needle in my apron pocket here. And look, look, don't poke myself. Probably have to sell the monster master space. Yeah, I think probably. Even if I don't get a lot of money for them. <laughs> you, you fixed her! Yay! Thank you so much! You're welcome! I need to go now! Bye-bye! Charge her for that? <laughs> that's gonna be like a hundred... A hundred picks for that. hundred pricks. I think that's what the current thing is. Hmm, not only are you good at sign crafting, but you have a fairly deft hand at needlework too. How about you, Tear? I bet you sew a lot of stuff. Um... Huh? There is no time for dawdling. Where do next? The silly girl didn't charge for the repairs. <laughs> You're just charging a kid for repairing the doll. I guess fairies aren't very good at using big needles, huh? There she goes. Okay, we're gonna go to the... We're gonna go back to the market just to sell the slime things. 
Not more space. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell all this. Ah, I think I can sell the fur ball, to be honest. Same with the chestnuts. The water shrooms. It says they're edible, so do they heal? I wonder if we can eat this to heal. It says they're just tasteless, so... Maybe they're not that bad? I'll keep them just in case we can use them to heal at the dungeons. Oh, okay. There's no bread or apples. I'm gonna have to buy the taiyaki. Wait, I, it says I have one, actually. Mmm, it's kind of pricey. I don't know. No, only the food items are what you can eat. Oh, so I can't eat the shrooms? Man. Oh, well. I'll buy the other taiyaki, then. And I guess I'll sell them. Oh, wait, no, not that. Ah, uh, yeah, but, okay. So we have all this food for the dungeon. That's good enough. Let's go, let us go. Yeah, trading mats for food is a sound investment. Yep. Okay, well... He did not buy the long sword, so he's gonna have to do, make do with his... current sword. We're just gonna have to make do. Because he just refused to take the long sword last time, so... Okay, this should be good enough for him. Ah, uh, floors one through five. We can go through six to ten. Let's see. Equip items and bag. Yes. Come on, Louie. You can do this. Or maybe he cannot do this. Okay, I know the enemies are definitely... Oh, they're level five. Okay, so they're definitely much harder than before, naturally. Man, we did not get good things already. An old muffler, that's not something I can really sell for anything. Oh, good. Oi! Back here. Hmm, we need to at least find some items that we can sell for some good stuff. For some good money. I don't know how high is going to be the rent. For this week. Oh. I don't appreciate the tea buff. <laughs> I'm sure Louie will buy it. <laughs> yeah. We did it. We did not see him up in the front. I'm sure yeah. Louie will buy it e eventually, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I know I probably have to undersell it to him, or else he won't buy it. But still, man, I guess that's the only way we can get him to buy things is if we undersell it to him. But I think it honestly will be good if he buys it. Wait, we still gotta go this way, so let's see if maybe there's something good here. <laughs> ah, come on. Yeah. Come on, Louis. I believe in you. Good, I... Um, I think I'll probably stream for... Mm, probably max around three... Three and a half hours, I would say. Probably around that time. I still probably have to... I think if I'll make that a standard time, or if it'll vary. You don't kinda... kinda depends. Yeah, yeah. I still don't know what that thing is supposed to be. It kinda looks like one of those Play-Doh things. I don't know if you guys ever saw like those things, those like plastic Play-Doh toys where you can put the Play-Doh and then they'll have kinda like hair on them. It kinda reminds me of that. But yeah, there's something here. Boy, my boy, you gotta work hard to spend more. <laughs> No, not the work hard to spend away. Or Louie. He can't catch a break. Oh god. Poor guy, poor guy. Okay, so... Let's see. Okay, so next stone, next floor. Maybe we'll find something better next floor. <laughs> oh yeah, those Play-Doh haircut things. Yeah, that's kind of what they remind me of. Okay, we need to consume the candy. Doesn't have SP and these things are becoming a bit of a pain to deal with. Rusty dagger. I thought it was a better sword. Looks like something you would see out of a poisonous plant encyclopedia. I can kind of see it. Oh my god. The rocks. 
Looks like an angry Tia pet. I don't think I've seen those before. Ah, oh, I wonder what those look like. They're pretty sturdy. Which is a bit of an issue. How do we really... Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. That's not good, that's not good. Consume the food. That did not heal as much as I personally would have liked, but... I don't want to use a Taiyaki, just yet. Brock dies, everyone falls. Yeah, they deal quite some damage. I mean, to be fair, they're level 5, so... They're getting closer to matching my level. So it gotta make sense. Yeah, we don't have SP for that. So gotta be careful with... These guys. Okay, over well, there. I really need him to buy a long sword. Yeah. And that's a coat. Raincoat. <laughs> what? Level up, Lily. Oh. Well, but I guess that works too. It just teleported in. Man. I was hoping it would be something good. Oh, well. I think we pretty much got everything from this floor. I wonder if all the... Are there just like five floors? Which... Yeah. Nope. Get away from me, Play-Doh thing. Yeah. Oh, powerful. Another one of these. Teleport a whole five feet. Yeah. Can we do be like that? Another I old muffler. Uh oh. I see another one. Come on. I guess we're gonna have to use it. We're pretty low on health. Wait, the Taiyakis do not heal health. They heal the SP? That's not good. I thought they actually healed health. Yeah. I guess I'm just gonna have to level up. Oh, that's not good. I need to level up faster. Oh no! Oh, it's not for health. Ah, uh, I didn't think Tai. I think I thought Taiyaki was actually gonna be for HP. Fuck! Not another teleporting chest. What are the odds? What is that? No. Oh wait, oh wait, I'm trying to grab this swirly thing. Oh, it's an insect trap. I need to level up faster. Stop jumping away! You know what? I'm not gonna deal with it. I'm not gonna deal with that thing with the bunny. Okay. Give me the XP. We really need to level up. We're so close to leveling up. As long as Louie doesn't die, we should be good. Bread! Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm taking the bread. We really need the bread. Where's the bread? Where did the bread go? Hey. It's a little bit. It's not much. But you know... You know what they say. It's better than nothing. Come on, Louie. I believe... Oh no, not the mosquito! Not the mosquitoes! Okay, he leveled up. He leveled up. We're all good. We're all good. He finally leveled up. Oh, the bunnies! Stop jumping! Wait. There you go. There we go, the Taiyaki! Oh god, nope, nope. I'm not dealing with them. These guys are a bit annoying as well, but I would say they're not as bad as the... What are they supposed to be? Snow bunnies? They kind of look like snow bunnies. They avoid a lot. Stop jumping backwards. Stop jumping backwards. Okay, there you go. Now, to the next floor. We pretty much already saw everything there is here. I have a feeling this... Area is also yeah. gonna have a boss fight. Which I'm not yeah. particularly looking forward to. But... Hey, if it gets us something good... I would say it would be worth it. Hey, that's where the floor is. Hmm, how's yeah. the game being? I like the game. It's a pretty fun game. So I can see why it has its following. Because it's honestly... Really, really funny. It has a really interesting yeah. sense of humor for having such a cutesy art style. You wouldn't really expect it at first glance. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I wouldn't really expect the type of humor this game has from a game with this art style. Okay, step back. Stop. You know what? I'll just leave them. I don't think there's a point in chasing after them. Oh god, it was one of those. It was one of those chests that summoned a bunch of enemies. Yeah, I do need to recover my speed. Okay, okay, okay. We got this, we got this, we got this. You wouldn't think it's a bunch out of play with the crippling depth. <laughs> Probably not, yeah. So bunnies are really tricky because they dodge, yeah. They dodge a lot, so that's why they're way trickier than the other ones. Oh, this was a dead end. Okay, step back. Come on. But I do need the... Ooh, walnut bread! I need the bread. Mine. I got it. Ooh. Is this honey? Yeah. Can we sell the honey? Or is it one of those items that you can only eat? Well, yeah, you can... I would say maybe you can eat it, but I thought you could eat chestnuts, and apparently that was not the case. I was so sure you could actually eat chestnuts, but apparently you can. Which is very unfortunate. GG. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, it's these things again. Yeah. These Play-Doh-looking things. Oh, I see the... Nope. Kind of be wary of the shrooms because they teleport through the area. Okay. He got rid of the... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. I was trying to rush through them, but I don't think you can actually run. Okay, yeah. Pretty much already got everything from here. Oh, it's a crafting item. Mmm. It's one of those. Rocks fall, everyone dies. They don't do as much damage as I would have honestly thought they would do. I mean, to be fair... I think that the slime boss did way more damage than the rocks, which kind of makes sense because that one was a boss fight. Oh! It's a rat. Yeah, It's a rat with a crowbar. <laughs> oh god, he, he hits kind of hard. Oh my god, he hits really hard and I can't really get close to him. He's a rat. Yeah, I wish I had a ranged weapon because he hits kind of hard, not gonna lie. Okay, where's the bread? I'm really gonna need it for this. Oh, the rat. Oh, the shrooms heal him? Oh, I think I have to get him to eat the purple shrooms. Okay, if I can... Uh-oh. He throws... bubbles? Okay. Eat the purple shrooms! Ah! Come on. Come on, eat them. Oh! That did not work as good as I thought it would. Okay. Oh, I can take advantage of that. Okay. I just need to make sure he eats the purple ones. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I, got it. I think I figure out what the trick is, Felix. You can do a lot of damage if he. No! Not the red one. Not the red one. I got it. I figured out the trick. Come on, eat the eat the purple ones. Almost. Yes, we got him. Let's go. He he dead. He gone. Nice. Easy easy. <laughs> what is is this his tail? Oh, that is his tail. Oh well! Hey, we did it! We made it back five! First try, ZD. Okay, we got a lot of stuff. I don't know if we can sell the insect traps? But hey, we got chocolate. That sells pretty. This sells for a lot of money. Okay. I'll put some weapons. Um. Some things up. Ace 
price of tail... Wait, it really sells for that much? I didn't see the price of the tail. I mean... Oh my god! Why does it sell for that much? Oh my god, that's insane. I mean, if someone buys it, that would be... That would honestly be really good. Oh, let's see. I have a lot of mufflers. So I could at least sell one. It's a boss item. I forgot, it, I forgot if I sold the other boss item I got. Ah, uh, insect traps or... I think venoms are good enough. Why would someone buy a rat's tail? It's a very valuable rat's tail. It's like a giant rat tail. I mean, I don't know what you would do with that, but... No. I wanna get the orange sword. So a taiyaki instead. Let's try that. Probably like a trophy? Could be, could be. Ah, uh, put the... Put an insect trap just to see if they sell. Gotta be rich from a sale. I mean, if they if it sells, yeah. I do have a weapon. Please buy it. Ah, Okay, I'm gonna have to sell it real low because I really need him to buy it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go 108. Per, we're gonna go eight percent. Come on, Louis. Come on, Louis. Please, please. Yeah, Finally. Finally, 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 finally. I need him to buy this. Okay, good. It's really underselling it, yes, but I really need him to buy it. <laughs> I really need him to buy the log sword. Or else he's gonna keep using that... That, um... Worn sword for the rest of the game. If I tried to scam him, he would have not bought it. So... I think it was better just to... Yay, I repaid my death! I got 3,000 leftovers. <laughs> Louis finally took it! He finally took it! Oh my god. So, this is the payment for this week. Let me see. You're welcome. Okay, first payment, first payment. We got this, we got this. How mu I wonder how much is gonna be the payment for the next week. It's probably gonna be really high, isn't it? I'm counting on you next week too, dear! It's gotta be really expensive. I can feel it. It's gonna be really high. Wait, who is that girl? Oh, I know. I know what type of character she is. He's the... What do you call these? Ojo-sama characters? I can feel it. The music change. That insolent little plebeian shop, which is the focus of so much rumor. <laughs> oh no, is that type of okay? The bratty Odosama? Yeah, yeah, I can see it. I can feel it. <laughs> my, my, it's so calm and so dirty, so dull. How does that little pro get people to come in, I wonder? Ooh. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, this girl. Plebeian. Oh, man. Well, no matter. This is a perfect opportunity to show that little shrew and this whole city what a truly elegant shop is like. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yep, she's an ojo saba. She has the laugh. Uh, you know, you don't own that store yet, right? It belongs to your parents. Oh, she's that kind of kid. <laughs> Silence! You insolent fairy! It'll be mine eventually! That's practically the same thing! Imagine if your parents don't, like, actually... ...let you inherit that shop. You just give it to someone else. Oh, little shop receteer! Your days are numbered! <laughs> oh, beep, beep. Oh, do some laugh. And I told you to address me as a young mistress! Of course. Of course. Why did I just my... Oh, it's Amazon! It kind of looks like... <laughs> it's literally an Amazon box. <laughs> oh, 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 my genius astounds me, even me sometimes. The best way to learn about your foe is direct infiltration, after all. And with strategic espionage abilities such as this, I can't fail. 
Uh, yeah, to totally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I would never, you know, suspect the non Amazon box. <laughs> um, she's solid snake. <laughs> oh my god, snake, snake! She's trying to pull a solid snake. Hmm. The interior decoration is as steady as and plebeian as the outside, which means their selection of items must be astounding. What could it be? What sort of thing could that a filthy little pearl sell? Perhaps some kind of black and white animal. A skunk? Well, the ownership of which violates international treaties? Perhaps the most delicious apples this side of the Mer de Blanc? Perhaps one of those books father says I'm too young to read. Wait, do- oh! Um... No! We do not sell that here. Those books that I'm too young to read! Um, I hope- I hope, um, his- Oh, uh... I hope her father is talking about encyclopedias and not the other types of books. Oh! Oh, be quiet, whoever you are. You are interrupting my train of thought. Um, could you come out of the box, maybe? At least? It kinda looks weird on the floor here. But, but that means... Uh... Well then... Do you really think I was not going to notice the moving box coming into my store? Huh? In all honesty, I shouldn't be surprised by this. I should have expected a foe as canny as you to break through my otherwise impenetrable stealth techniques. Okay... Uh, sure. Truly, I would have never guessed that you were inside the moving box. Mm-mm. This confirms it. You are indeed worthy of being my rival. Oh, she's that kind of kid. <laughs> she's the kid that whenever she, like, kind of likes to become... She wants to become someone's friend. Instead of, you know, approaching them normally, she would be like, You are now my rival! We shall be rivals! For eternity, you and I! You know, kind of that type of kid. That's the vibe that she's giving me. <laughs> huh? Rival? Huh? Ah, I have failed to introduce myself, of course. I am the owner of the monolithic item store chain, Big Bash. Big Bash sounds kind of funny for a store name. Well, to be specific, I am the owner's only child and inheritor. Alouette is my name, remember it. Everyone around me calls me Young Mistress Alouette. But you, oh my rabba, oh my rival, shall have the privilege. Oh, am I gonna be able to call you by your first name? Of calling me Lady Alouette. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, Big Bash. It is a massive store chain with a capital stock value of 15 billion picks and a yearly gross profit of 500 billion. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Rival tied to buy her company stocks. <laughs> oh dear! I heard the commotion and came to see what was happening, but... Why are the two of you discussing Big Bash? I'm, uh, not really sure. Ah, uh, interesting. You also have a fairy. Ah? Huh? Prime? Hey, hey. Uh, yeah, what's up? Oh, she looks so done. <laughs> Prime looks so done. She looks like she doesn't want to be there. I like Alouette. She's oddly enough a good kid. Hmm, is she? Is she like one of those characters with a tough exterior? Prime is such a snarky character. I think I can get the vibes from her expression. Oh, uh, Mistress, I see your attempt at infiltration failed. Oh, what are you talking about? Their superior detection abilities simply caught me off guard and overwhelmed my cardboard. That's all. That's a fairy! Ah, this one's sharp. You got a problem with that kid? I mean, you hang out with one too, so what's the big deal? <laughs> hey, hey, call me Prime. You can say I'm Alu, uh, the mistress's guardian. Oh, uh, well, I'm Reset and this is Tier. She also buys higher than the guildmaster? Oh, interesting. It's nice to meet you. Hmm. Yeah, real pleasure to meet you too, bookworm. Eh? Eh? Are you by chance referring to me? Nani, 
Shh, like there's anyone else here I'll call that. Well, the pleasure is all oh, mine then. Oh, Hello? I can tell those two are not gonna get along well. Alright, mistress, we will introduce ourselves. So, how about we head on home now? You can sell things for 150% easily to Alouette. Oh my god. That's insane. What are you talking about? I haven't introduced I haven't finished introducing half of the fantabulistic, amazing, incredible list that is Alouette, inheritor of Big Bash. Uh, uh if we stick around for that, we'll be here all week. Come on now, we're going home. She just dragged her. Reset, listen, and listen well. Enjoy your happy, carefree days as long as you can. For when I am through with you. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. See you guys around. <laughs> she just drags her away. Just like, no, nope, get out of here. So, uh, what do you think that was all about? That was not dissimilar to meeting a hurricane in human form. Oh, I love how she peeks back in. She's like, ah. But okay, we'll be pretty much saving here. Save and pretty much calling it a date. But before that, I'll be moving on to just chatting just too quickly. Think the donations that came in. So yeah, we'll be moving back to just chatting for a bit. How do you guys enjoy Rasseteer? I think it was honestly a really, a really fun game. Definitely one to continue in the future. Oh god. I think my uh, chat is, is barely catching up on this side. <laughs> yeah, I think it's catching up. Yeah, it's catching up. Yeah, there you go. It caught up. It caught up. <laughs> yeah, I wanted... Okay, let me see here. I want to thank Siege. Thank you for the $10. First minute's interest. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Totally. It's honestly a really fun game. Not what I expected from... A game that is all about, like, stocks and all that sort of stuff. Really, really fun game, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see why the fandom loves it so much. It has a lot of charm. Louis must be saved. Somebody save the man. <laughs> Somebody save Louis from himself. He can't have money. Oh no, poor man. It took me forever to get him to buy that long sword Because he honestly needed it. He needed it so bad. The poor, poor man. GG. It is what it is. <laughs> it is a fun game to watch. It's definitely really fun. Never really thought I would like it as much as I did. I know I got it recommended to me before by a friend quite a while ago. Oh yeah, no BZM. Let me just fix that. Yeah, I think the BZM was off. But yeah. Glad that you guys also liked it. It's honestly really fun and I want to honestly finish it. I think it's a bit long, actually. Might be, like, average? I think the average playtime is around 10 hours? Actually, no, I think it might be more. I don't think it's 10 hours. I think it's a kind of long game. There's another fun stock kind of game called The Invisible Hand. Ooh, never heard about that one, actually. Might have to look into it. Also, uh, here's the other donation that came in. By Ali! Thank you for the $50! Congrats on the debut and your chill stream! Looking forward to more! Thank you, Ali! Really, really appreciate all the donations! Thank you, thank you, everyone! But yeah, for next week, I'll be publishing the schedule... Uh, probably... Either later tonight or tomorrow. Either over at Twitter... Or... YouTube? Actually, I'll probably publish it both on Twitter and on the YouTube community tab. So for the people that don't have Twitter and want to know what we're gonna have... What streams we're gonna have next week, you can see it through your YouTube community tab. And for the people that have Twitter, they can also see it through Twitter. <laughs> so you guys will be able to see it through both places. And I know time zones may be confusing for some people, but... I will be setting waiting rooms. Once the schedule has been published. Since waiting rooms pretty much adapt to everyone's time zone. And that way we kind of don't have to do some funky time conversion for everybody. So yeah. So just keep an eye on the waiting rooms. If you want to know like at what time the streams will be happening. Yeah. Thank you so much everyone.
for coming to Rossiter. And hopefully I can see you guys next time. Bye-bye. See you all. It is time. But first, let me see. I want to see first if I have ra raid privileges. Because I know I did not have them yesterday. So, uh, let me see. I don't think I have them yet. Because I think YouTube's a bit slow on rolling those along. So, I'll probably check for our next stream if we have the rating privileges and then we'll see if any of the girls are live and we'll be able to rate them. <laughs> but yeah, thank you everyone. And for now, I shall see you next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>